You know, honestly, I think I would be lying if I said that Halloween season wasn't my absolute favorite season of the year. What's going on, peeps? Welcome back to another episode of the Gaming Roulette series. I am your host, A Tired Unreal and Gaming, and here today, you guys already know the deal. The horror games are back, and this time, we're going to be switching things up a little bit, because on the last two episodes, you guys have seemed to really enjoy some of the older games, a lot of the newer games, but here today, I'm going to go on ahead and just switch things up a bit you know what i mean which not for nothing now that i've been thinking about it these last couple of weeks i've been watching so many horror movies that it just put me in the horror mood you know what i mean so with that being said if you guys are not following me on both twitter and instagram those links will be located down below and i have no idea as to why you wouldn't because i mean just right and just in case you're kind of curious as to what kind of games we're gonna be playing here today you guys can go on ahead and find the timestamps of those games located down in the description box below to where if you guys see something you like and you want to go on ahead and watch it then i do encourage you guys to do so also watch through the entire video if you guys are real ones on the channel because let me just say it does go on to help us in the long run you know what i mean so with that being said i hope you guys sit back and enjoy i'm gonna go on ahead and tighten my hoodie here because we're about to get into the spooks and ghouls in a matter of moments oh boy Okay, so we're going to be kicking this Halloween special off with a bang. So I have sided with the villains in going up against our heroes. And let me just say, you guys are in for a treat. So kicking things off, we have our boy Super Saiyan 12 Majin Vegeta versus Mastered Ultra Instinct Vegito. I have no idea where he is. There he is. Oh man, I feel bad for this guy because I can only imagine that my character, I mean, based on the amount of damage that I'm inflicting, is a lot stronger than Master to Ultra Instinct Vegito, and can we just acknowledge the fact of, like, what a year it's been for the Vegito character on the channel? Like, we've done so much, and let me see. I want to see if I can blow myself up, right? What a what a terrifying Halloween special. Oh, we actually caught him in the midst of that. Let me see. I, does this mean that I'm also going to die myself or no? Uh, judging based on what I'm looking at, Jesus Christ. What, I mean, our heroes have no chance. Let me go ahead and go full power here. So, fortunately enough, we did not die, so I'm thankful of that. But going into 2023, which we only have just about, what, two and a half months left, it's crazy how fast the year had just gone by. And I have some crazy stories and some crazy things lined up for next year as well. So just keep your eyes and ears peeled out for what's about to happen, including what's about to go down in November and December. I'm not going to say too much, but it's going to come with a lot of surprises. So just letting you guys know, and I'm just surprised that this dude is still alive. Okay, he's dead. All right, so all it really took was me beating the shit out of him for him to actually go down. So here we have Grand Priest, Mastered Ultra Instinct, Angelic Goku. It's a mouthful. I mean, for this specific ISO, we have just some of the wackiest and craziest mods you'll find. So it is what it is, but I want to go on ahead and swap out, and I'm going to swap out for our boy, Dragon Ball Z's version of Mastered Ultra Instinct Broly. I believe he is in his regular Super Saiyan mode, which, again, is kind of out there. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. So Goku's actually doing some damage to me. I really encourage you guys also to just watch through this entire video because for the Gaming Roulette series, I've said this so many times, we often have fun on here just playing random ass games and just having a good time. You know what I mean? So I think that's what's important about this. And so as long as we get that, I think we'll be all right. So even going into 2023, I'm going to be, I'm going to try to at least do a lot more gaming roulette videos for you guys and stuff. So let me take this guy out. As a matter of fact, I also want you guys to let me know right now, should we actually do a one-off special involving Dragon Ball Z's Broly versus Dragon Ball Super's Broly? Now, young Gigi had done this many years ago, and I wanted to kind of either continue that or just include my own version of that so let me know yay or nay and i want to separate their forms for example let's just say i mean i don't know if dragon ball z's version of broly has super saiyan 4 then i'll just give you know dragon ball super's version like super saiyan god or something like that like you know what i mean or super saiyan 3 or just whatever but let me know in the comment section below broly versus broly yay or nay i want to get your thoughts and i want to just get rid of this goku man he's really irritating as a matter of fact a oh, hundred oh a hundred combos bro that's actually that's actually quite impressive hold on let me let me see here i mean i didn't get no damn angel wings you know what i mean i i, I have ultra instinct as well but i don't have any damn angel wings you know what i mean but also let me know in terms of sprite animations this wow look at him he's 10 is he serious let me see if he can survive this there we go. okay all right all right there we go i mean i was about to i was about to say man like this dude is sticking his chest out he's just tanking everything that i'm throwing at him so 
I think I'm gonna get rid of him because I mean for the next character that I have lined up he's actually called the Dragon Demon Malgo. I have never heard or seen of this character before but what I do see right now is me getting a hundred hit combo before he stuck his chest out and got the better of me so it's over let me see if Bully can have did we miss did we hit a rock oh that's that's bullshit oh come on dude really all right well maybe this ought to do it hold on let me see if I can oh are you kidding me yo this dude Goku listen this is not a special where Goku is supposed to get the better of me yeah this is supposed to be a special where the villains are the one oh sweet mother of god he has a staff oh he's just beating the shit out of me with the staff dude i mean i'm definitely gonna win i have a few tricks up my sleeve as he just vanished and now we have the gp okay all right the grand priest i mean it's been an amazing year for the gp on the channel as well so here we go dragon demon or demon dragon god malgo i have never i or at least i must have played with this character a little bit because i don't know too much about him but what i do see right now is the g oh whoa that oh this attack dude yes Oh, that attack did damage. Oh, this dude's hitting me with his ultimate. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm alive. Oh, yes. Listen, so as long as I'm alive, rebirth. I like that. I like that. I mean, his power-up is actually called rebirth as well. So, let me know in the comment section below right now, what was, or at least what were, some of your favorite stories that we told in 2022? And I can't believe the GP just went down. And ironically enough, the next fighter is Super Saiyan Blue Raikon. Here we go. And he's been very difficult to fight and take down on some of these ISOs. But I think for this one, you about to get stomped. He's back in. Oh, he's actually in the fight. You about to get stomped out, homie. You're not. Hold on. Let me. Oh, crap, crap, crap. My hands are getting sweaty because I don't want to lose this, man. I mean, I doubt I will because the next, I, I guess, character he has on his roster is Ultra Eagle Hakaishin powered Gogeta. But even then, I got my boy right here, Divine Super Saiyan Rose Zykor. So let me see the Bloody Hunt. That's a crazy ass finisher. So I want to see if Zykor can get rid of Raikon. I mean, I have a lot more planned, I guess, for the character too, but it's just been a crazy roller coaster. So I genuinely want to know your favorite stories and even your favorite sprite animations because we've done a lot this year and i gotta thank you guys so much for just supporting everything and like i said before make sure you guys tune in hit that subscribe button if you guys are new turn on all notifications because all you really have to do is click on the bell icon and you'll always get a notification whenever i post a video on the channel and more importantly give this video right now a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below it helps us out on the algorithm and it gets us ahead of the curve. So here we go. Now we got Ultra Ego Hakaishin powered. Oh, that was a nice little dodge. Oh, damn. Yo, Zykor. I mean, some of these mods, man, they're so busted. I decided to just pick a random ISO that I had throughout the year, and it brought me here, right? So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for it. I'm grateful for it. But, I mean, geez, talk about busted, man. And, I mean, because the last fighter I have is Yoshido, which is considered to be one of the top five strongest in the multiverse for one of my stories. And Yoshido's a, a he's a one shot. You guys have seen this before if you've been following the channel within the year. This dude's a one shot, man. So I don't care if he still has Goku. Watch this, watch this. As a matter of fact, watch this. So easily, effortlessly, just a monster, just an absolute beast. And I don't think Gogeta kind of knows right now what he's about to get himself into. Look at this. There we go. And blasting. Yeah, it's it's over. It's done. There's no way. Unless, you know what? Let me see something real quick. Hold on. There we go. The universal power. I'm going to go ahead and launch that. I mean, yeah he's, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. And now the last person to kind of handle before we get into some of the horror games is Goku. Ironically enough, is it not? Now watch this. I'm not even going to hit him. Watch this. Watch this. Look, he's, he's blasting me. And, it, and it's reflecting. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Look at that. Yoshido's a monster. But I'm, I mean, listen, it's it's done. I'm going to show you strength, boy. Man, that was crazy. That was actually really fun. Okay, so time for us to move on to the next one and have ourselves some fun with some spooks and ghouls. Okay, so I'm going to be really honest here. I don't know what I'm about to experience, but whatever it is, I hope it's going to be good. So here we... What the hell? Oh, what the hell? What the hell is happening? Oh shit! What? Wait a minute. Do y'all hear that? What the hell is that? Dude, you better run. 
Oh, forget about saving him, bro. He's gone. You better run up those stairs, Brody. Oh, hell no. Okay, so the premise so far is that there's this mansion. Oh my god, dude. You better run. I got goosebumps right now. There's this mansion, and apparently there's like this cult. I don't know what's happening right now, dude. Oh, you better run, dude. You better run. That's a demon. There's a demon in this freaking house. Oh, what the? Holy shit. Oh, you better run, homie. I would have punched him right in the face. Oh, what happened to everybody else? Oh, God, you better run. Run, 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 run. What is happening? Yep, nope, hell no. Nope, I would have been out of there. I would have I would have been out so fast. Jesus Christ! What just happened? What is going on? What what is this? What is she? Is that a demon? Listen, lady, I don't taste good, trust me. Uh-oh. Yo, my man. My man, you better get out of there, my man. What the hell is he doing? Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, my man got, like, some magical powers. What the hell was that? Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, so... Oh, I'm bleeding and everything. So, from what I understand... There's, like, this cult. There's this cult or something. I don't know. They're, they're performing demonic rituals and whatnot. They're trying to, like, sacrifice kids. That's terrifying. You better run. You better go, my man. You better go. You better get... See, I, I wouldn't know what to do in a position like this. Okay, so... Close that door. There we go. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, well, here we go. This is Dark Occult. Dude. Where am I? The graphics are crazy. What the hell is this? Alright, find a way to get out of the house. Okay, uh, yeah. Definitely. See, listen, guys. I'm white. Right? I told you guys this before. But I'm not, like, stupid white. You know what I mean? Let's go looking for demons and witches. Hell no. What is this place, man? Okay, so I need to get the hell out of here. There's a demon in this mansion. And I'm not trying to face it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I got to figure out something. Um, can I crawl? I don't know. That, that fireplace looks like maybe an area for me to crawl in. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm bleeding. I'm panicking. Just this is bad. If you guys have missed out the first gaming roulette video, check that out. If you guys have missed out the second gaming roulette Halloween special, check that out as well. I told you guys we were going to play more horror games and here we are, right? Yo, this is not cool, man. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna try. All right, it's locked. What would you guys do in this particular situation? Because not for nothing, I would try to like exit via the window, but I don't know, like, let me see. There's that little fence right there. Is there any like secret door here? Oh, uh, there's nothing here, man. Listen, that demon thing is, it's right outside that door. I'm assuming at least. There's gotta be something here. Um. Okay, yeah, I, okay, that's the objective list. Okay, so this is like, there's a lot of tension right now. So, how do I crouch? How do I crouch? Oh, God, how do I crouch? Can I crouch? Is there any way for me to crawl or crouch? Okay. All right, so this is not like Resident Evil 8 where we can just crouch and just go right through this. Okay, so then it has to be that right there. Like, there's like this cult doing whatever it is that they're doing. All right, come on, pry that open. All right, let's go inside. All right, come on, my man, come on. Ah, uh, there's spider webs here. There must be a lot of bugs. Oh, there's like huge cockroaches here, man. That's nasty. Ew, look at the size of these rats. Oh, ew, that's nasty, bro. Look at these rats, man. Looks like all these girls they used to talk to back in the day. <laughs> Bunch of rats. Oh my god, this is nasty. I mean, listen, it's a life or death situation, right? So we have to crawl. Ugh. Back. Back, you thieves. Nasty ass fat rats. Ew, look at these giant cockroach water bugs, man. It's nasty. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing, bro. Oh, this is not good. All right, let me let me see. Can I can I stick my head through this? Uh, can I pry my way through this? Yes, no. Is there any way? There has to be a way. There 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 can't be any other way out of here, dude. I mean, I help me. Oh come on, my man. Come on, bro. Um, damn it. Am I supposed to go over here? I don't... Come on, there has to be a way for me to, like, stick my head out or something through here, man. There has to be. Damn it! Okay, um... 
I'm panicking right now. All right, let me go here. So, from my understanding, what the hell is... Whoa. Wait, what's happening? What's happening? Is someone calling me? Oh, wait, no. That's my... Okay. What the hell is this? Oh, is that like one of these like... Summoning thingies? Oh, what the hell? That thing is flying, dude. What the hell? Alright. Uh, am I gonna sacrifice the rats? What's happening? Oh, shit! Oh! Okay. Okay, what, what the, what the hell? You can even hear the rats in the background. Alright, so my character was murdered. That, I mean, it, lesson learned, right, kids? Just don't venture into, you know, houses or mansions that you hear things about. So a few hours later. Oh, boy. Alright, so I guess we're going back in. Is this, like, a new person? Why are we going back in here? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, hell no. Dude, just leave. Like, wh why am I here? Oh my god, thunder. Hello? Is anybody there? That is the most white person thing you can possibly ask. Hello, is anybody there? Neighbor, is that you? No, nobody's in the house. Does it look like anyone's here? Oh no. Alright, well. It looks like we're about to get going, I suppose. I mean, why are we here is beyond me. Maybe they're going to explain. Oh, God, here we are. All right, well, yeah, I would leave. Trust me, I would leave. I would leave so quick. I don't even know where to go. All right, find the expedition member. Now, nah, forget them. They're dead. Y'all see that, right? Oh, no. All right, this is locked. Hello? Is anybody there? I, I can't believe this. I mean, that chandelier is moving. This is bad. All right, this door is... Okay, it's stuck. All right, so there has to be... You know what this reminds me of in a way? This reminds me of, like, the evil within... Oh, I can't even open this. Outlast and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Find the box key, okay. So, we're here looking for the crew, but, I mean, in all actuality, it really wouldn't matter because we don't even belong here, you know? Alright, what's this? Uh, what just happened? The door seems locked, maybe there's a key around. Okay, but where's the key? That's, that's the question, isn't it? Wait, why am I moving? Why, why am I moving? What the hell? The sign of a Pisces? Wait, why am I moving? What the hell? I'm not even moving. What the hell's going on here? I can't even move my camera. Find the Pisces key. Oh, what the hell? That was weird. What would you guys do? I need you to let me know. What would you guys do during this particular situation? What is this? Alright, Scorpio. Alright, so we have, like, Zodiac signs, I suppose. Find the Pisces key. Find the Scorpio key. I don't like this. Oh, sweet Jesus. Anyone in here? Anyone at all? This is so creepy. Trust me, I would not be in a situation where I would be out here like this. But you do have people that, like, don't believe in stuff, you know? Like, they're not really believers in, like, the spiritual stuff or, like, the demonic stuff. So they venture out into places like this and then you never hear from them again. Okay, so this is pretty cool. We can actually check drawers and stuff. What if I find, like, a bloody condom? I would be out of there. Who are you? Alright, nah, she's creepy. Nah, chill. I'm not trying to get myself caught up in nothing. Uh, okay, what is this right here? Okay, so, uh, everything seems... Okay, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have a feeling that you're being watched. Yeah, that's not a, that's not often a good feeling, you know what I mean? I'd be out of here. Everything's old. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell? Yeah, everything's all, like, old and stuff, you know? Is this blood? Is my character stupid? Yeah, it's blood. Don't touch what it. What is going on here? I don't even have blood on my hand. That's funny. Why are we here? 
All right, we found the Scorpio key. Oh, this is pretty cool. This reminds me of Resident Evil. Oh, shit. Oh, what was that? My character does not sound scared at all. Hey, what was that? I gotta get out of here. Nah, are you kidding me? I, I would leave so fast. Anyone here? Oh, I have that feeling, y'all, that I'm being watched. So the starting point of this game was that this was a house that was used by a satanic cult that sacrificed people and they lived here and stuff like that. So why am I here is beyond me. Man. Oh, hell no. Look at that freaking long ass. Nah, dude. Look at that long ass hallway. Let me just close this door. Let me just close this door just for safe keeps. Is there anything around here that I can use or find? Nah, this is an old ass freaking place though. Alright, nothing's moving in here. Everything seems calm. Anyone in here? Oh wait. Oh wait, what the hell? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell was that? Oh, what the hell is happening? Hold on. Hold on, what's happening right now? Oh wait, the chandelier's moving. Oh, the, sh the chandelier wasn't moving, like, a few seconds ago. Oh, no. Happy Halloween, right? I mean, why would you even come here without a gun, without a Bible, without a crucifix or something, you know? It just seems so stupid. Imagine I run into Moro from Dragon Ball Super. I will devour you. Like, oh, shit. Alright, well, from what I understand, this is a big mansion, so... It's weird. Where is everybody? Am I playing as, like, a redneck? Where is everybody? Where's my cousin? What's happening right here? I don't like the looks of this. Oh, what the hell? Something's moving around here, man. Listen, I encourage you guys to watch this in the dark. Hello? Hello? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Well. I think it's pretty easy to get lost, though. Like, you know what I mean? There's nothing in these drawers. Like, not a flashlight, not a candle, nothing. Like, why am I even here? Oh, hell no, bro. Oh, nope. Nope. What the hell was that? Nah, I would have been out of here. Why does it always have to be the white people? You know what I mean? As a white man myself, I do not condone this. I do not, you know, accept anybody who does some, something stupid like this because I wouldn't myself. Growing up in Brooklyn taught me a lot of things. What the hell was that, bro? Why am I here by myself? Like, why would anybody agree to this? You must be a lunatic if you want to come to a place like this by yourself. Everything is locked, man. Okay, uh, a sign of a tor kid, Taurus. Um, so yeah, it's all zodiacs and stuff. You have to be nuts to be doing this. Because I sure as hell won't be doing this. That's a fact. But I guess, I mean, I don't know. So far, I love, like, the, the tension, you know? They already left the house. Yeah. There's nobody here, dipshit. What the hell is that noise, yo? There's a lot of tension in this game. There's a lot of it. Oh Robert. my! Robert, is that you? No, 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 no. Hey. Wait. No. Wait. No, no. What, what is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? Where, where did he go? Dude, that wasn't Robert. Oh my God, where'd he go? All right, let me... Oh, my God. There's blood on the ground. All right, was this where Robert was killed? See, I mean... Ah, all right, let me read this. Okay, I saw it too. Uh, well, let me see, let me see. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, this is... I mean, people that... Yeah, yeah. So, from what you can read right here, people already knew that this place was just... Derped from the beginning. So, like, why would you even come here? Jesus, tap dancing Christ, bro. The lightning's gonna give me a heart attack. 
All right, I have to, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, help me, somebody. Uh, what am I, what's the padlock code? I don't even know. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I gotta get the hell out of here. First of all, like, you see blood. You see your friend's not responding to you. Like, why are you even calling out to him? This is where I belong. I feel like I need to take a shit right now. This is, it's crazy. Like, I would not be doing this. And, fellas, word of advice, if you're seeing or, you know... I have a bad feeling. Strange things are happening in this house. Oh, no shit! If you're dating or seeing a girl that's into this stuff and she wants to go grave digging or whatever or go into a house like this, don't do it. Just leave her. Trust me, you don't want to get caught up in this. Oh, shit! What? Oh, nah. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Hold on, let me close the door. Bruh. Bruh, where are they? I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get killed. I'm telling you. Do you know how many girls I've met in my life where they would tell me, Oh my god, do you want to go? It's like a real haunted house. And I'm like, are, are you crazy? Like, are, are you nuts? And if something happens, it's my responsibility to keep you safe. Like, I'm supposed to be the one fighting Lucifer himself. Like, are you nuts? You're on your own, lady. This ain't no Titanic. I'm not sharing that door with you. Nope. I'm kicking your ass into the cold ass water. You know what I mean? Straight up, sorry. It is what it is. I'm about to shit my pants. I can't be doing this, y'all. Like, what the hell's going on? Where's the key? Where's the key? And it's like thundering outside. That, that, that's the worst part, man. Is there like a, is this like a secret passageway or? Oh, look at these books. Oh, satanic Bibles and stuff. This is nuts, dude. Are these buttons? Can I press these? That freaking chandelier is pissing me off. Okay, so, um, let me just check. What is this? Oh, man, what, what, what is this? What were they about to do? Oh, this is like a sacrifice book, bro. What the hell is this? If you're reading this note, it's probably because we're all dead. Oh, no. What's in this house surpassed anything I had imagined. See? See? It's impossible for us to leave this house. Wait, why? We tried by all means to eliminate the demon that haunts the place, but nothing seems to stop it. Do you see what I'm saying? Am I crazy now? After much research, we discovered the existence of five artifacts that were used to conjure this demon into the world. Bruh. It seems that these artifacts make it invincible. Bruh. The only way to get rid of it would be to destroy these evil items by burning them. We specified the shape of four of the objects, but unfortunately, we didn't find any information about the fifth artifact. There's five of them? For now, we'll focus on the search and destruction of the four items we've specified. We'll have to separate to save time. Why? I know it's a huge risk, but it's... Yeah? The only option we have. No, 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 that, it's not, it shouldn't be the only option we have. One of the options should be for us to leave the house. See, I mean, once again, to all the cultists out there, like, why do you have to summon freaking demons thinking that you're going to control them and then you end up getting body? You know what I mean? Just dumb white people stuff, man. And listen, I'm white too, so I have every right to call them out on their stupidity. Jeez, I mean, this is making me want to watch, like, something crazy tonight. I'm going to have to look up something good. Oh my god. I gotta get the hell out of here, dude. I mean, they're telling me stuff about artifacts and have to burn them and all this stuff. Like, why, man? Oh, what the hell was that? Ew, 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 ah! Ah, rats! Oh, there's bugs everywhere, dude. Hello? That door obviously opened, and I know those fat, stinking rats didn't open the door. Hello? Your pizza's here. Oh, God, why do I have to come here? All right, well... Oh, that's a basement. All right, well... Might as well, right? Might as well, right? I'm I'm white. Might as well. Oh, this was in the opening cutscene. So I couldn't play the cutscene due to copyright purposes, but... I think this is where it all started. Oh, hell no. Yeah, th something's on the other side there. Nope. Nah, I gotta get the hell out of here.
By the way, I'm going to be playing a lot more scary games on my other gaming channel, Unreal Royale. Check it out. It's the link to that will be located down below in the description box. I'm lost. Yo, this mansion's huge. Like my meat. I don't even know where to go, dude. Okay, what is this? Okay. Uh, let me, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We, 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 yep. Nope. That's all I needed to read. Nah. They, they knew that. They knew what was happening. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Hold on. Let me. Let me see what's up with this real quick. So that was actually a little save mechanic there. Okay, so what's up with all these pages though? I'm, I'm assuming these are all like Bible pages and stuff. All right, so very similar to Resident Evil, which I'm liking. I have to make my way around here. I don't even know where I'm going, yo. You can easily get lost in this, in this gigantic mansion, hands down. What the hell? Oh no, bro. I, I'm just, I don't even know where to, let me go here. Jesus Christ! Nah. Nope. Nope. I would- Oh my god, do I have to? Everything's locked. You know? Oh, I guess let me just go inside the same room where I saw the chair just go flying inside. Alright, well it's stuck. Are you seeing that right there? Oh no. Hello. Oh crap. Alright, let me. There's a there's a doll sitting right there, dude. Oh, alright. I I guess. Uh, hi. Would you happen to know where the keys are? Huh, little one? If that thing jumps up at me, I swear I'm done. Huh? Oh, that's creepy as hell, dude. Okay, um. Yeah. Everything here seems to be like locked or you know, just stuffed away. I don't I don't know what's going on right now. Bruh. Bruh. Is there a door here? I can't even see anything. It's so dark. How do I not have like a flashlight or something? You know what I mean? Oh, there's nothing here. Alright, well, let me just make my way back over here. Dude, I have no idea where I'm going. You gotta love how that one door is like barricaded, you know? Well, I guess I'll check here, I suppose. Y'all heard that, right? Hello? Anyone here? Oh, Jesus. Yo, like this house is like falling apart. I mean, what, what, what? For, you know, for a satanic cult, like why would they barricade that? It's just kind of weird. Anyone in here? I mean, clearly someone's here if there's a fire going, you know what I mean? Uh-oh. What the hell was that? Jesus Christ, man, this is not good. Is anyone in here? I mean, is there any- anyone? Oh, what the hell is that? There's a doll here? Another doll. Look at that thing! I gotta get the hell out of here, dude. Nope. There's a doll sitting in front of a fire. Are you nuts? Where am I? I just have no... What the hell is that? Ew, what the hell? It's Cthulhu. What the hell is that, bro? Yeah, I don't... Okay, that door is locked. Um, I I guess I don't even know where I'm going, man. Let me let me go over here. Look at that dark ass hallway. All right, screw it, screw it. We're just we're gonna run right through. Hello? Yeah, that that needs a a Taurus key, right? Yep. Or no, an Aries key. Okay. Oh, now we have an Aries key. Like Jesus, there's so many, so many keys here. Yeah, everything is locked. Man, this is going to be something. If you guys want me to continue this, just let me know. Just let me know if you guys want to see the Dark Occult, and uh, I guess we'll do more of that, because this is something. The graphics and stuff are, like, nuts. What the hell? 
Ma'am? Oh, that's the demon! Hey! Hey, how's it going, lady? You single? I just, uh... Wanna ask you a question. Jesus uh. Christ! What is that? Run. Why am I banging on the door? I would be out of here so fast. Yeah, you can already feel like the tension in this place. What would you guys do? I, I really want to know. And let's just say, if you try to go back, you know, where you originally had come from, and it's locked, then what would you do? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, what the hell? Oh, we're back at the main lobby. Look at that. Oh, that's... That's crazy. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, what would you guys do? If you ran back only to see that you can't really leave the house, you know? Like, what would you guys do? I gotta find my way out of here, man. Oh, hell no. It's dark as hell in here. Hello? A anything in here? Oh, my God. Oh, wait. I'm so lost. Yo, I'm so lost. I don't even know what I'm doing. Hello? Mom? Anyone? Wait a minute. I think I... Oh, I see. Okay, so we're back. All right, all right, all right. Now I know where I am. Okay, so we're back... Okay, we're back where we first started. All right, so I'm not going over there anymore. The hell with that. See, I, I want to try to retrace my steps, I suppose, but yeah, this is, this is too much. This is crazy. So I guess what I'll do is I'll see if I can go back and save my game because we're definitely going to come back to this, like hands down. Unless something grabs me in these hallways, I don't, uh oh. Okay, yeah, I know exactly where I am. Okay, yeah, it, it just, it's reminiscing. Yeah, perfect, okay. I gotta get the hell out of here, dude. Oh, no. All right, screw it. We're making a run for it, boys. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going over there. Hold on. The rats came from this door, right? Yeah, they did. Yeah, we're definitely going to come back to this, guys. Hands down. Where's the... Uh, is that the safe room? It has to be. Yeah, so we're going to save our game. And we're definitely going to come back to this because... This was honestly really, really good. Oh, now see, this one's a classic. Holy crap, hold on. Let me go on ahead and stop these zombies real quick. Welcome to Resident Evil 2. Man, hold on. These zombies just keep on coming, man. This game terrified me when I was a kid. Hold on, let me put these zombies down. Holy crap. Okay, so welcome to Raccoon City, right? The real Raccoon City. All right, let me... Damn, these zombies keep on coming, dude. I wouldn't even know what I would do in a situation like this. Hold on, let me go on ahead and put him down, too. I am so happy, guys. Let me just make sure these zombies stay down. We have a lot to talk about for this. Oh, Jesus. There's another one. There's another one. Stay down. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, so to the gun shop we go. Now, this game, man, just the opening cutscene alone, back, like, in the early 90s or whenever it was, it terrified the shit out of me. Like, it really did, right? And I remember when I first played this on the N64. Oh, the gun shop. Let's go ahead and go inside. I remember when I was a kid... The opening cutscene alone terrified me so much that I put the game down. I didn't play it for several years, right? So, uh oh, oh crap! Who are you? What are you doing here? Relax, man. You're fire. I'm a human. Yeah, dude, I'm a person. Oh, and he still loads it. Come on, man. <sighs> Sorry about that. Oh, screw you, bro. I thought you were one of them. Do I do I look like one of them? What's going on in this town? Hold on. Oh, this is kind of scary. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. 
Yeah, and you would think that you would want to leave. Do you know what I mean? This poor guy, too. I mean, you guys are about to see what's going to happen to him. But let me know in the comment section below as to, like, what, what your favorite Resident Evil game of all time is. Because, for me, this is definitely one of them. Like, definitely one of them. I need to find ammo. I think there's ammo on the other side. This poor guy. You guys are about to see what's going to happen to him. But simplicity at its finest, like, way back, like, in the 90s. Like, people, people today just wouldn't know, you know what I mean? Everything, I, like, everyone and everything is so desensitized, but watch this, right? Watch this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he shot him, too. Uh, sir? Oh, crap, here they come. I wouldn't even know. Back up! Back up! I wouldn't even know what to do in real life, you're like, you know what I mean? Oh, damn, damn, damn. Damn, oh, they're crawling towards me. Damn it. Back up. Back up. Dang. Are they dead? Oh, they should be. Jesus Christ. You okay, sir? Yeah, he's not looking too good. All right, let's get the hell out of here. So, yeah, look at look at these dudes. They just ran up on him and they just busted in. I got to make, I mean, they're twitching and shit. Let me get the hell out of here. So, what made this game that much more interesting was i would say that's the score and the ambiance behind it because you're not going to get that with a lot of games these days like you know what i mean but i don't know if, if you guys want me to continuously like just play this on the gaming roulette series let me know oh i hear them oh i hear you guys i mean walking down this dark alley there they are oh what's the matter What's the matter? You can't bust through? Oh, that's sad. All right. I mean, they're going to come through anyway. Watch this. Oh, there they go. Okay. All right. I remember when I was a kid, I was like, what do I do? Because the N64, like the controllers at the time, like the controls were like terrible. You know what I mean? This is such a classic. Like I, I do encourage you guys to like, you know, download this if you can on the emulator and stuff. It's so much fun. Like, it's so much fun. The remake is amazing as well. Two, that is. But, look at this place. Like, even the background, like, everything is so dark. Raccoon City is just all messed up. And I remember I, I made a comment talking about how the movie Welcome to Raccoon City was a lot better than Paul W.S. Anderson's bullshit. But at the same time, it's like, oh, crap, there's a zombie in here. Oh, crap, I, I, I didn't even see him. You want to play ball? Is that what it is? Yeah, I'll dunk on your bitch ass. So, like, Welcome to Raccoon City, it could have done it could have done so much more. Like, after looking at Raccoon City now and stuff, and just remembering everything, like that movie was such garbage last year. Like, it, it's kind of sad. Look at this. Oh man, I don't, I don't know, man. If I was in a situation like this, just being around the area to where. Like, zombies could just pop up from any moment or anywhere, you know, like, just, and do anything to you. It's kind of, it's kind of terrifying. Look at this. Look at the background. Everything is so dark and desolate. Oh, hey, it's my ex. Yeah? Someone wants to apologize? Yeah? Okay. Hey. Yeah. All right, is she down? She took one hell of a shot, though. She should be down. Oh, look, someone tagged my name up on the wall. Alex and what? I, I don't know what it is. I mean, it is what it is. All right, let me, get, let me get the hell out of here. Oh, there's a zombie. All right, that that should do it for now. Hopefully, he does not get up. I don't see any blood. Oh! Oh, I did not see him. Oh, I did not see him. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Back up. Oh, I didn't even see him. Yo, he bit me. That's it. I'm infected. I, I, I got the cooties virus. Oh, this isn't good, man. So, yeah, let me know what your favorite Resident Evil game of all time is. And I guess you could say, like, also your worst. Oh, look at that. Look at that dude just dead eating his meal. Oh, and this guy became a meal. Oh, my goodness. Damn it. And they're all cops, too. And they're all cops. Come on. Jesus. All right, Leon. And this is my... Fr oh, God, he's getting up. And this is Leon's first day on the force, too. And they keep standing up, dude. 
A anybody else? Anybody else want some? Anyone? No? Alright. But, like, look at the background and stuff. Like, look at this. Like, just the darkness coming from beyond the freaking bus. You know, like, you have this, like, heavy tone going on. You know what I mean? Let me grab this real quick. Definitely need some ammo. This is going to be something. I can promise you that. Oh! Oh, God. All right, you stay down. See, and who's to say these other corpses that are in the seats aren't just going to get up and start chomping at me? You know what I mean? Oh, look at the bus driver, man. Sorry, man. I ain't got no quarters this time. I used to I used to sneak my way onto the bus sometimes. But that that's that's for a whole different story. Oh! All right, we got we got pedestrians, we got we got cop zombies, anybody else? Anybody else want to smoke? I'm just trying to Oh god. I'm just trying to make my way to to the Raccoon City Police Department, man. Yo, and they keep on coming. Yeet! And listen, listen. There is no shame in admitting it. Do you guys like the remake more than the original? Or do you like the original right here more so than the remake? Let me know. If you guys prefer the, the remake, then that's completely fine. Yo, these zombies, man, they just keep standing up. Damn it. Oh, this dude's a tank. He's just taking bullets, bro. Stay down. Oh, oh, he... I didn't even... Yo, oh my god. Yeah, that's right, curb stomp, Seth Rollins. What happened to this place? Like, buildings are on fire. Like, you can only imagine the chaos that filled up this town, bro. Alright, time to sneak our way into the Raccoon City Police Department. I think what I'm gonna do after is I'm gonna play Resident Evil 3. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. They're making their way towards the gate. Let us in! Let us in! I remember they were saying that in the uh, Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City movie. Alright, so, while I'm here, let me just explore my area. I don't want to go through the graveyard, because that's, that's what's above me right there. So, I'm going to just go around here, and if there are any zombies in the area, then I guess I'll just gun them down. If not, then... Oh, yeah, look, they, I see them moving around over there. All right, is there any gate? No gate here, okay. All right, well, I, I guess I'll walk on over here. Oh, never mind. It's not a graveyard. It's like a little garden area. All right, let me just put this guy down. Yeet! You guys gonna get up? You see, I mean, whenever there's not any blood coming from them, then, then you know they're still alive. Watch this. See, I told you guys. Now watch when the blood starts formulating. Yep. As soon as you see it, you know, start dripping out of them, then, then that's how you know they're dead. So, oh, there it is. The infamous RPD. Here we go. And I, I swear, I just wish that they made a Resident Evil movie that stuck to the main source material. Look at this place. Man, the music is heavy. The music is heavier than anything else. I would argue, at least. You know what I mean? Okay, so... If memory serves me correct... What I'm gonna do... Is... Let me see. Can I... Okay. Alright, so I'm guessing that what I need to do is... I need to... Check the computers real quick. So before I go through anything... Yep, yeah, there it is right there. We got some ammo on the side, alright. Now... This game... It could be, like, a hit or a miss, depending on, you know, what you do or whatever, so... Let me go ahead and use this, uh... Okay. Okay, so I, I think I know what I need to do now. Alright. I need to go pay our, uh, little injured cop in the other room a little visit here, but before I do that, let me go on ahead and, uh, save my game here, so... If, just in case I die, I don't end up losing everything, like, you know what I mean? Okay, so, the game is saved, and now... Let's go on ahead and make our way towards this section over here to check up on one of our good old pals to see how he's doing uh, oh boy oh man who, who are you i'm the new guy oh, 
You must be the new guy. Yes, sir. Leon. Yes, sir. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been canceled. No. What happened? Yeah. About two months ago. Two months ago. There was this incident involving zombies. Bruh. In a mansion. Dude. Located in the outskirts of this city. Dude. Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth. I'm asking about you. But no one believed them. But I'm asking about you. Not long after that. Dude. All this started to happen. Uh, but I'm asking about what happened to you. Hang in there. Don't worry about me. Okay. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. All right, bro. Here. Take this key card. Oh, good. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But just go. I love how he aims a gun at me. It's like, okay. Fine. But I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. All right, Leon. Acting like the courageous hero that he wants to be. Yeah, I'm going to come back for you, man. And if memory serves me correct, I think he locks the door behind us, right? Oh, he did. Yeah, look at that. I mean, how the hell could he... Like, he could barely give me a key card, but then he gets up and locks the door. All right, Chief. See, this is why it made more sense in the remake, because he was there. He was just very injured, and he was turning. Like, you know he was turning, but... It's interesting, though. There we go. There we go. Oh, I think you guys... I think you guys are about to see what we're about to encounter, right? All right, so... Let me... Yeah, I think it's time. Yep. To encounter our first major enemy. I think a lot of you old school fans may know what I'm talking about here. We're about to encounter that liquor, yo. Which, I mean, in all honesty, when I was a kid, it just terrified me. And you guys are about to see why. Oh, look at that, yo. Oh, that's so... That is so out there. Like, you know what I mean? Seeing that for the first time. Here we go. Man, what a moment back in the day. I mean, now it's like nothing, but... Alright, I have to prepare my anus for this one. Oh, boy. Let me just make sure that I'm ready for this, because I don't really know what it's going to take for me to beat the, th the liquor, so... Look at the window breaking. This guy's head is like all bashed in. Oh god, there's blood dripping down. Anyone there? Uh oh. Oh, I. W oh my god. I would shit my pants, dude. Oh, look at that thing, dude. I mean, yeah, the design. Oh god, there it is. Oh god. Eek. Oh, it hit me. Oh, it hit me twice. Oh, God. Come on, Leon. Come on, Leon. There we go. You son of a bitch. Oh, God. I'm injured. Oh, this isn't good. Look at the size of this thing, though. I mean, to see it crash through the window the way it did. Oh, some marijuana. <laughs> Perfect. Some herbs. Oh, damn. I'm not doing too good. Hold on. That. Yeah, damn. He, uh, he took a chunk out of me. All right. Well, I'm in the yellow now. That liquor really took a chunk out of me, dude. All right, well, we're going to be wandering through the uh, the RPD just, just for a little bit, just to see what we got going on. Look at this place. I do really implore you guys to uh, either download this and play it for the month of Halloween, or... Just watch the movies. I mean, that's the live action ones suck, but it is what it is. All right, anything in here? And to think that all of this went down like so unexpectedly, like, you know what I mean? People were just minding their business, working, and then for this to just hit the way it did. It's the operations map. Yeah, they must have been doing training here. And what's crazy about this is, like, this was originally, like, an, a, a museum, you know? See, that piece of art right there is actually pretty interesting, because you can you can find this in several different places. The title is A Sacrifice to the Hellfire. Oh, hell no, dude. 
Why would anyone have this at a police department, you know what I mean? A sacrifice to the hellfire. What? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? There's got to be some clues around here, though. I haven't played the original game, this one, in so long, though, but... I mean, listen, to the remake's credit, the remake is very dark. Like, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen and experienced. The remake is so dark, man. They made, they made this, they made this police station very, very difficult for you to, like, maneuver through, you know? Because it's so dark and everything's so gritty. Which I think is great, so, I mean, hey. Look at these floorboards and stuff, just everything's, like, just sealed. Because people knew here, like, you know? People knew. Alright, let's see what's on the other side here. And, and that's the thing about this game, like, you'll never really know- Oh! Oh, there's- there's multiple zombies! Hold on! Oh god! Hold on, she's gonna bite me! Oh god, no, get away! Get away, lady! Yeah, yeah! I need to back up, I need to back up here, hold on, let me- I'm already injured! Stay down, lady! Damn, 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 damn. Anybody else? He's just standing there. He's just standing there, his bitch ass. There we go. Anybody else? Oh, he's still alive! Oh, come on, reload. Okay. Alright, cats and kittens, I'm injured. Oh, yes, we have plants. Thank God. All right, we're still we're still in the yellow, so that's that's kind of good, I suppose. All right, now let me see if I can. Oh, perfect. Yep, yeah, perfect. All right, perfect. We're back to full strength yet again. All right, so this is the uh, the photo developing room. I used to I I love this save theme, not for nothing. I I really do. All right, uh. I don't, I don't have any film to develop, so... I need to check the locker. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, the lockers don't have anything, so let me... I'm gonna come back and save my game a little after. I just want to, like, fully explore this place first before anything else. But, yeah, I mean, I can immediately tell, like, a lot of big differences for the remake and this. Oh, boy. All right. Up the stairs we go. Okay, see, uh, look at the hole at, at the bottom of this door, right? I didn't know that that was the same room that Sherry Birkin would be using to kind of crawl through on the other side. Little fun fact for you. So, let me move these. I, I do remember moving these to the correct place is what we need to do. So, let me, let me go ahead and use uh, use this statue first. Because we, we need to get like that little item out of this dude's hand, right? So for us to do that, we're going to have to move this in the correct position. By the way, for those that have seen like the movies, I'm now I'm curious. Let me know in the comment section below as to like what your favorite movies are. I am very curious to know whether it be like outside of I, I guess the animated films in terms of like the the live action films. Is it Resident Evil 1? Is it Resident Evil's, you know, rebooted Welcome to Raccoon City? Is it Resident Evil Apocalypse? Resident Evil Extinction? Is it Resident Evil Afterlife? Resident Evil Retribution? God, it's awful. Resident Evil The Final Chapter? Even worse? There we go. Now, what is this? Alright, the Red Jewel. I completely forgot where the red jewel goes, so forgive me if I, if I'm a little rusty on my RE2 skills, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Oh, I hear zombies. Oh, there's cops! Back up, sirs. In the name of the law. Oh, there's more cop zombies, dude. You gotta admit, though, like, for, like, the, the early 2000s and stuff, like, the, the way they the way they made this is just fantastic all right any anybody else anybody else in here all right I wonder where that door leads to though but before we do that let me go into the stars room 
See, now this room right here that you're about to see, it should have, like, everything. And I don't know, like, I mean, IRL, if I were to see, like, shotguns and rifles and stuff, I would grab everything. Even though it would be so hard for me to, like, you know, hold on to all these things with, which I understand. Yo, I, I am not putting down any other gun. I you, You're going to see me carry loads of weapons. Because you'll just never know. Uh, so there's nothing on the desks from what I'm looking at right now. There's got to be something. I know... I know that I didn't just... Uh, it's trash. Someone must have searched it. Well, yeah, someone searched the desk, but... I mean, I, I couldn't even imagine what these guys would, like... Would even think about or, or go through after hearing about, yo... We need to, like, dispatch every single unit out there because we have cases of people being eaten. We have cases of people just committing mass, you know, homicide. Oh, the bodies are gone. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, it's locked. Oh, a spade. Oh, the spade key. Damn it. All right. Well, let's get the hell out of here then. There's a lot for us to explore in this place, so... But if, but if you guys have not checked out the previous gaming roulette videos for the Halloween special, it's been great. Like, it really has. And I'm just really glad that you guys have just been enjoying these and just having fun because that's what it's all about. You know, I'm, I'm convinced. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play Resident Evil 3 Nemesis after this. The original one. Oh, the bodies are gone too. Damn it. Alright, you know what? Let's not uh, take any chances. I'm going to go on ahead and save my game. Just in case, if I end up dying, then, well, you know, I can actually come back and start over. Okay, so the game is saved, and now it's time for us to continue, you know, on our journey in uh, seeing what the undead has in store for us on the other side of the Raccoon City Police Department, you know what I mean? I don't know, I mean, am I one of the only ones that also, a diamond, oh, a diamond key, okay. Am I one of the only ones that was ever hoping for like a, a real life zombie outbreak to happen. Like, you know, I, I think if all else, like 2020 would have been a great time, you know? Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot about that. You saw those arms, dude? They're trying to grab you. That's why sometimes you have to stay away from like the windows and stuff. Cause they'll grab you. Oh shit. Oh God, wait a minute. Wait, oh, they got me, they got me. They got me, they got me. Get off me. Oh, their hands are inside my spine. That's some pretty scary stuff, man. Like this and Silent Hill back in the day. Uh, you know? You got broken windows. All the bodies are gone. A spade. Okay, the spade key. I'm telling you. I mean, even asking me... Yo, Alex, what would you do if a zombie ap apocalypse broke out? I mean, listen, are you kidding me? I'm in New York City. Like, this is the worst place to be. This is, like, one of the worst places to be if a zombie apocalypse were to happen. Because there's, like, 15 million people here. And everyone's batshit crazy, so... You know what I mean? I can only imagine, like, places like California and Florida, like, you know? But, I don't know, I'm in New York, so my number one priority is to get out of here because there are too many people here. Oh, I hear zombies. Oh, here they come. Oh, it's my former, it's my former, uh, police buddies. Oh, damn. All right, that's, that's four zombies that I'm counting. Five zombies making their way towards me. All right, come on, bro. Six zombies. Jesus Christ. Stay down. Stay down. Any more? Are they dead? They look dead. Anybody else? Oh, God. Damn, there were six of them here, bro. Look at this place. Yeah, you can immediately tell the, st like, just the stark difference between the remake and the original. Because in the remake, like I said, it's dark, it's gritty, it's really, really good. Whereas here, there's, like, a lot of light and stuff, you know? Uh-oh. Is he dead? Come on, man. Ah, there we go. I didn't see any blood. Oh, crap. They're all behind here. Anybody else? Oh! Anybody else? 
Oh, jeez, man. How the hell are, are there so many zombies in this place? You know what I mean? But I mean, as I was saying, 2020 would have been like the perfect time for an outbreak to start because, I mean, obviously with the whole virus thing, you know what I mean? Like everything, I remember people were hoping for that, but I mean, in, in real life, like if we had a zombie apocalypse happen, if they were slow like this, then I mean, sure. But if they were fast, like 28 days later zombies, dawn of the dead zombies, like army of the dead zombies, then I, nah, cho cho chief. Okay, so yeah, there's a there's a key on the other side. Oh, wait a minute. I remember something with this. Hold on. There's nothing special. Uh, right there, you see that? Yeah, it's it's a magic mirror. So either I'm going crazy right either or either that's reflecting on something or i need to go on the other side either way uh i remember something breaks from the other side i think it's a liquor or a cerberus dog but they bust through and i think for that to happen we need to go across i'm just kind of scouting the area just so i can see what i can find and if i can't find anything of substance then i'll just carry on so let me see can I, can I, let me just stack up some, some ammo real quick. Can I, ah, oh, ah, oh, are you kidding me? All right, folks. Well, yeah, I mean, we need, I, I forgot where to get the keys from though. See, this is going to be like a very tedious, long adventure because we need to find like all kinds of different keys and stuff. So I haven't gone, I haven't gone in here though. So let me, let me go in here. I know there's going to be a bunch of them in here, so... Because this is, like, one of, like, the main police places, I guess. Oh, oh my god, right there. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Back up. Back up. I ain't playing with you guys. Is he dead? Oh! Oh, he got me. He got me. He got me. No, no, no. No. Damn it. I, I, I know some of these zombies are still alive. Like, this guy right here. Watch. I told you. Look at that. All I need to do is just shoot him for him for him to wake up. Anybody else? Oh, there's another one right there, bro. Back up, sir. Back up. Damn, he's like he's another one that just tanked all of it, you know? I'm just I'm just trying to look around to see what I can find. I mean, the reason why I also say, like, I would get the hell out of New York is because you got to think of what the government would do, you know? I'm pretty sure the government would take, uh, oh, I don't know, oh, shit. I, I guess I'll just put, punch in numbers, I don't know. Um, the government would take measures to, like, nuke a city if, like, they're trying to prevent an outbreak from happening, you know? Anyone that's gonna say, oh, no, Unreal, that, that, that would never happen. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, they would. Yeah, they would. They, they, they would nuke whatever they needed to nuke to make sure that nothing escaped. Are you out of your mind? Oh damn it. A heart's etched. Oh, we need a heart's key for this. Where's Claire? That's what I want to know. Is he alive? Alright, well, he's dead. Let me just go through here. I think this is where we meet Claire. Or am I just completely bugging out? Yeah, I don't think so, actually. Um... Let me use that. Combine this. Alright, you know, um, I'll take that just for safe measures. Can I combine that? Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. Oh yeah, this is this is where we don't meet her. Okay. Uh so if if memory serves me correct, is this gonna unlock? Oh wait, what? Oh damn it. Let me in! That sucks. All right, well, at least we know we have plants outside so we can actually heal ourselves. I'm just scouting the area because I need to know what works or at least what's going to work and what isn't, right? And, you know, like, to think Leon had gone through so much with so many other characters, like, I can't wait for, like, Resident Evil 9 and stuff. Like, you guys know what I'm saying? It's going to be great. I think the game's... I mean, they should conclude the stories of so many of these characters as we go into, like, new territory and stuff, but... 
All right, so. What I want to do, now that we've scoped out both areas, I just want to check a few more things before we proceed. Because right now, I'm just getting that, I'm just getting that RE, that RE3, like, like craving. Like, I, I, we're definitely going to be playing that next. But the ladder isn't down yet, so I'm going to keep searching the area to see what I can find because there has to be something that I haven't looked into or a place that perhaps maybe I've overlooked. But let me check in here real quick. Okay. All right. First aid sprays. I don't... This is a brand new, like, dolphin ISO or whatever, so this is... A, I don't know why I would have, like, three stored first aid sprays in there, but... And, and, and what I really enjoyed, and after learning more about, like, Resident Evil and stuff, I didn't know that Capcom rushed out Resident Evil 3 to get it out there originally because of the success of RE2. Like, that's what's crazy to me. And, and for it to take place within the same night, different perspectives and stuff, just like, just like Outbreak, it's amazing to me. Yeah, because now, now we're going to be looking for keys... We're going to be searching the area, trying to scope out, you know, where we can find the keys at. If you guys remember where the keys are, let me know in the comment section below. Because, I don't know, we, we might do a fourth Halloween Gaming Roulette video. I don't know. I'm not... If you guys want to see it, let me know. Because, again, all of these videos are so different, which, which is what I love. Yeah, we're going to... We're going to be here for a while looking for these damn keys, man. But, nonetheless, I think, uh... I think it's going to be fun because I want to get into some RE3 and yeah I think before we jump into RE3 I just want to scope out a few places the music like I said still holds the test of time for me at least for both the original for this for zero you know they're all great so Yeah, but a, a lot of these places are going to have, like, locked doors. Which is why right now I'm just trying to think. Because I'm just trying to, like, you know, trace my steps. And if I can find, you know, anything, then I guess it'll, it'll work. But if I don't, then it is what it is. Yeah, this is, this is going to be awesome. Just going through all of this again, it just, it just brings back so many memories. Now, I'm going to scope out the, the upstairs area twice before anything else, because if, if, we, if we drop the key somewhere or, or if we overlooked it, then I guess we'll be able to find it. But yeah, let me just double check. Spade key. OK, that's spade. All right. Well, I guess while we search, it's time to pop in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, because trust me, oh, that one's going to be so much fun. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Aw, oh, baby, farewell to my life, farewell to my home, this is my last chance for survival. This is my last escape. Oh yeah, here we go, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Meanwhile, elsewhere... Jesus Christ! Oh, I have a machine gun? Aw! Uh, that's right, baby. Jill Valentine coming in clutch. I mean, while Leon's in the Raccoon City Police Department, look at Jill. Yeah, this game is way different, let me tell you. Oh, Jesus. That's right. That's right. Go down. Perfect. All right. So, meanwhile, elsewhere, we have pandemonium occurring. Uh-oh. Oh. No. There's like 10 zombies, bro. Oh, plot armor times 100, bro. How they didn't just grab her is beyond me, but these are the, during the PS1 days, you know? Oh, damn, they're trying to come through the window and everything. See, I'm not going to lie. The way this game started out was great. The monsters have overtaken the city. Oh, you don't say. Somehow. Yeah? I'm still alive. I right, listen. Listen, I am I would be just as surprised. Just as surprised. Look at it all thick. Mm. <laughs> During the PS1 days. We mean we. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there. Well, tough shit, man. I'm sorry about your daughter. 
but there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. Exactly. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Okay. Now leave me alone. Uh, listen, you're talking about starving to death. I, I got no problem with that. You can lock yourself in there all you want, man. Listen, Jill, th there's no point. I mean, in, in real life, if a person were to be this stubborn, I can understand, but it's not my obligation to like, look after you. Like, you know what I mean? And hell, this place got nuked. So, you know, his dumb ass just sat in that container the whole time. I have a freaking assault rifle. What the hell is this? This came with the game itself. That's pretty nuts. Okay, I don't remember this during uh, my early run of Resident Evil 3 when I was a kid, but it is what it is. See, now here's the thing. I played RE3 a lot less, surprisingly, than any other Resident Evil game, right? That's, that's a little known fact about me. I probably played RE2 when I was a kid, more so than anything else. Then I played the Resident Evil 1 remake. Then I played Resident Evil 0, right? But Nemesis, I don't... I never played Nemesis as hardcore as I wanted to. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, what is this? Like, the the safe room, is it? Let me grab some of them keys right there. Yeah, same, same music from the remake, too. Oh, that's awesome. Unless they kind of put that in there, you know? All right, so... I'm just trying to look around to see what I can get. Because there has to be something around here, you know? Definitely, we're definitely grabbing the gunpowders. Because if I can combine that, that'd be great. What's in here, actually? What do we have? Oh, what the hell? Infinite ink ribbon. We have a magnum in here? We have magnum bullets, a shotgun, shotgun shells. Holy, oh, AR bullet, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay, wait a minute. So I'm, I'm grabbing the AR ammo, just in case, you know, Nemesis. We, got, we have everything in here, dude. Oh my, okay, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of, like, these little pamphlet thingies, because I don't really need that. Yeah, I don't... Let me just, uh, swap that for the bullets. 250 bullets, that's amazing. I'm gonna keep that little bench thing, because I completely don't know what it does. But... That's what's crazy about this. This is actually pretty raw. You know what I mean? Alright, uh, what else do we have here, actually? Um... All right, so for I, I guess uh, let me let me just combine that. So I, I guess for the time being, I'm gonna use my pistol because I don't want to run into a situation where like I just deplete myself of all of my AR ammo. But that's what's unique about this game. Like you would think like after Resident Evil Three that'd be it, but as soon as they dropped RE Four, that's probably my my favorite Resident Evil game because back in the day, I remember when I first came across like. You know, the Game Informer magazines, I know. And I read up on Resident Evil 4 being worked on. I was so excited. I was like, bruh. I told my friends at the time, Nick and Bronco, I was like, yo, you guys. I told you. I'm not leaving. Never. All right, well, f all right, you know what? F it. F it. You want to stay in there? F it. You, you sit your fat ass in there. And if the nemesis finds you, you're done. So I was telling my, my boys at the time, my, my childhood friends, Nick and Bronco, I was like, yo, you guys, you know, I was so excited for that game. And also at the time for Budokai 1. So that's how you know that we're talking about old school shit. So. Oh, we're back in the alleyway, man. All right, no bodies here, thankfully. No zombies, no bodies. Let's get the hell out of here. So, which game do you guys prefer better? Resident Evil 3 Nemesis or Resident Evil 2? Let me know in the comment section below. Look at this place, man. We're just like circling the back alleys and stuff. Oh, I don't trust him. I don't trust him. He's going to get up. Watch this. He has to. Oh! Oh, boy. Hold on. All right. Oh, he's getting... I knew it. What the hell, dude? Yeet! 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 Wasn't expecting for that to happen. Oh, there's another one. Oh, my God. Where are they coming from? Yeah, you better back up. I don't trust any of you. All right, they're they're all bleeding. A anybody else want the smoke? I mean, apparently. Okay. Yeah. So the Resident Evil Three remake. I mean, I guess we all know what that was like. You know, 
Very short game. Very like, you know, it is what it is kind of thing. Oh god, there's one zombie here. Look at that one little zo Look at him. Look at him. That's right. Down you go. But what I love about these games so much is look at the environment, right? Like the cars are all messed up, like there's all sorts of chaos. Oh, he's gonna get up too. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Yep, I knew it. I remember when I was a kid, I made oh damn. I made that foolish mistake to like just walk past them without checking. And when they used to stand up, I used to shit my pants. I was like, oh my god. This is like this is like Zamasu's wet dream. Uh, okay, so I'm not gonna go in here yet. Uh, actually, you know what? Screw it. Screw it. I'll go in here first. This is merge. This is well, not merge, but this is a monster's wet dream. Ningens, mortals, all killing each other. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think I. Okay, yeah. Someone's gotta pop. Yeah, see that door right there? Someone's gotta pop through. So, before I do that, though, uh, actually, yeah. Let me, let me check. Hold on. I think it's Carlos. Right. Oh, I knew it. Yep, there he is. Oh no, that, I think it was Brad. I forgot who it was. Oh my god. I forgot who that was. Hold on, they're coming from the basement. Oh god. No, no, no. No, back. Back up. Damn, they're taking bullets, bro. Alright, there's four of them. Holy god. Oh god, reload. Hurry up, hurry up. Is that it? Is that it? Oh god. Anyone down here? Oh! Come on. Come on. Alright. Oh, he's still alive, bro. Jesus. Alright. Definitely gonna combine ammo just in case. I don't want to have to reload. Let me just make some room here. Alright, so what is what is this over here? Hold on. This is... um. Alright, yeah, I'll take that. Now what do we have? Oh, is that a shotgun? Look at those little like little bullshit flies on him. Oh, that's pretty. Hold on. Oh, that's pretty cool. A shotgun takes only one inventory slot. That's pretty cool. Unlike other games where it takes up two. I hate that. It's like, ah oh, man. All right, so that dude ran this way, right? And I know Nemesis is gonna slaughter him afterwards, so it doesn't really matter. First of all, why is Jill wearing that? You know what I mean? I mean, it is what it is. Got to appeal to the male audience at the time, I suppose. Oh, God. Come on. Stay down. I don't want him to grab my foot. My sexy leg. Man, Raccoon City was... You can only imagine. I'm telling y'all right now, like... If, if movies like World War Z had more gore and, and violence and stuff, and if it wasn't such a shit show... That would have been a great representation or a more terrifying representation of what a zombie outbreak would be like for those zombies to just like run at you with such pace and speed and y'all heard that oh hell, what, what the fuck is going on hey someone's getting eaten bro oh i don't listen i don't want any trouble here oh they're eating somebody in that alleyway hey guys oh having lunch are we having lunch yes damn dude Listen, I, I, I didn't mean to interrupt your meal or whatever, but is this guy alive? Oh, this guy is. Stay down, Zamasu. I, I just wanted to make sure. Jesus. All right, well, let's see. Uh, let's see where this takes us. Anyone here? I remember this. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, there he is. Yo! Oh, why would you... Why would it, Why would he just run away? Like, you see another person shooting, right? It's like you would want to stick around just to see what's going on. But... I, I, I can kind of see, like, why he's running away. Like, he's terrified of the nemesis. And you guys are about to see why. Here we go. He's all, like, bitten and all messed up. He's like, oh my god. Oh my god. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's getting eaten alive. He's getting bit, bro. Get away. Really? Like, really? Oh, God. All right, take him down. Come on. 
Oh, come on. The, 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 the two of us can't take him down? Seriously? Oh, nah, bro. You better back up. You, you, was, you was bit. Nope. Brad, hang in there. Brad, there we go. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. Really? The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. Duh. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. Who? What are you saying? You'll see. He's after stars members. There's no escape. Really? So he's just gonna say that. Like what a what a first of all, what a dick. Because who the hell would tell somebody, oh he's coming? And then when asked about who, you just run away like a little girl. Like it's so stupid. So like you just lack the logic to just tell the person and inform them, hey, you know, something's here, something's coming, he's coming. And, you know, for him not to do that, like that, that's pretty shitty on his end, but man. I wish we can go inside these these apartments. What is this right here? A sturdy gate, it seems that it can't be opened. Okay. Yeah, I don't, um... Yeah, the boutique door is closed. I mean, you can hear zombies, you can hear eating, and I don't know. I mean... Oh, crap, what the hell? Oh, did that dude get up? Oh, you better back up, homie. Oh, that's crazy. He's... Damn, he's still back up. Okay. Yeah, the music is ominous, right? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do something here. I completely forgot. Yeah, what irony. In the remake, we actually left our sanctuary, you know? And we actually go through the whole rhythm, too. So here, here is... It's a little different. So bear in mind with me, guys. And just bear with me here because it's been a long time since I played this. I think we... Yeah, let me, let me just... I want to see if I can just double check, triple check certain places because I just want to be sure, you know? Alright, so, yeah, let me, let me, let me back check some stuff. I just want to go back and be able to, the only thing that sucks about these games is you clearly can't drop anything. Like, there are items that I pretty much don't want, but I'm forced to carry them until I come across, like, one of those little chests, so... Yeah, let me go through here. You guys can't tell me that the music and the ambiance and stuff isn't fire. Because it is. Uh, let me, let me check, actually. I, I just thought about it real quick. Let me check something else. Hold on. Let me go... Oh, wait. No, it's not here. Okay, I could have swore that was like a little tiny, like, little entrance way to, like, another place. But I guess I'm bugging out right now. Okay, so... I need to retrace my steps. Okay. I know that there's a lighter, right, at that bar. I'm just trying to remember if there's any location where I need to set something on fire. Because I could have swore... Oh, what the? Oh, did y'all hear that? Oh, that was a woman screaming. Hold on. Ma'am? I know y'all heard that, right? That's, that's pretty, that's pretty sick, bro. I'm just trying to like... Yeah, that's pretty nuts. That is pretty nuts. Let me, uh... Let me, let me check. Because what I want to do is I want to make sure that I, that I checked every location. Because I could have swore that I needed to set something on fire that would allow me... Okay, that's, that's this way. That would allow me to go through to get to the Raccoon City Police Department, right? Because that's essentially what we need to do. But I'm just trying to check to see, like, where that is before anything else. And again, looking back on games like this, man, like, they could have done movies, so many movies, like, for these games that could have done it justice. Oh, that sucks. Damn it. Alright, we have to figure something else out here. So, 
Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I forgot about that. Yo! Oh no, he bit me. Oh, he bit me. He bit me. He bit me. Oh, I got, I got the AIDS. No. Oh, he bit me, dude. Where the hell did he come from? Is he dead? Yeah, you die. Shot him in the dick. Oh my god, dude. Oh, we got some, we got some gunpowder in here, but it's, it's not like I really need it. Damn, man. You know what? Um. Ah, oh, this is, this is frustrating. Hold on. Because I, kn I know you guys heard that girl scream. I'm just trying to be very cautious right now. Uh, I guess... Let me just, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to come here just yet. Yeah, I, I heard a girl scream, so that's probably an indication of something. But before I go back to that fat dude that locked himself away, I just want to make sure that I've checked a few locations in a few places just to be on the safe side, you know? I don't know. I mean, listen, in a situation like this, I would want to be with friends. I would want to be with family. If you're a stranger, I, I would have to gain instant trust. Like, I would have to test your freaking, your loyalty off the gate to see, you know, if you're trustworthy, if we can actually carry this on through together. And if we can't, then I'm going my own way. But if we can, then I guess we'll work it out. But... All right, yeah. Uh, okay, oh, I see, I see. All right. Okay, all right, so... I'm starting to understand now. All right. Just wanted to make sure I scoped out the area thoroughly. Now... Let me come over here real quick. Because I want to see if there's anything that goes beyond the point in which... We went down the steps to go through the back alley to get to the bar. So I think to do that, we're going to have to go through here, right? Let me just double check. Because I know that we're, I mean, the lighter is here. I know that. So we have to do something with that in, in a sense, right? But before, oh, what the, oh, see, I knew it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Back up. See, these zombies were not here earlier. All right, there we go. Just, just needed to make sure. Oh, what the, oh, boy. Didn't even see her. Lady, back up. Back up. Back up. All right, cool. Now, what is this? The clock tower. Yeah, it's a picture of the post clock tower. Okay. Look at that thing. All right, the fellow explanation, the landmark spot. All right, well, we have the landmark spot. Check down, right? Oh, is he moving? I can't even tell. Is there anything here? All right, uh, handgun bullets, yes. Is there anything else here? Oh, he was a lot. Dude, he could have. This dude could have eaten me at any given point. Oh, nah, man. See, fortunately for Jill, she doesn't have to be in a situation to, like, you know, I guess deal what Leon is going through. But then again, Nemesis is after her and not Leon. So. That should kind of tell you something, but yeah, let me, let me, let me scope this area out real quick because I know, I know for this, yeah, let me, let me see. There's gotta be, there's gotta be something around here. There has to be. Actually, yeah, let me, yeah, it was this area over here, wasn't it? Yep. It's, uh, yep. I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yep. I knew it. Yep, and if memory serves me correct, I'm gonna have to go through this door, and I think there's like one more door for us to get to the RPD, right? What the hell's that noise? Oh, oh, they're behind that gate, dude. Hey, guys. Yeah, you can't come in now, can you? Yeah, you suckers. Oh! Oh, oh, there's a lot of them. Hold on. Yep, when the going gets tough, we're gonna go in ahead and just shoot that barrel. All right, well, we killed, what, four of them? Come on, there's three of them left. Come on, take them down, Jill. Come on, Jill, come on. It's Halloween season, yo. You stupid bastards. 
All right, it's bound with a tight rope that won't open, okay? And the rope seems to be soaked with oil. I knew it! Okay. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay. All right, yeah, we need that. Okay, we need that lighter. Aw, oh, crap. But... Aw, oh, damn it. We. Oh, so I need to go all the way back now. I need to go all the way back in order for me to drop all of these items off yeah i need to drop some of these items off yo yeah oh this, this is gonna be a doozy oh this is gonna be a doozy right now damn it okay so i basically had to remove probably a chunk of the video because it was just me running back and forth twice because i accidentally left the lighter oil right like the fluid inside of the uh, the chest so i had to go back twice to get it so now we have the lighter we have the fluid and let's see if we can burn our way through so we can get to the uh to the rpd guys but either way i need you guys to let me know if you guys want to see more of this because i love playing it i i know a lot of you guys are probably like whoa dragon ball channel that loves horror shit like of course i do you know what i mean but this is gonna get interesting because uh we haven't done this in a long time we haven't set that that mother effer on fire to go through the gate in a while so let me is it this yep all right Let's see where that gets us. I believe we're about to fight Nemesis really soon. If not, like, right now. So, just brace your anuses. Because I'm going to have to brace mine. Alright. Can we use it? There we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Time for us to step through. I believe, I believe we're about to enter the RPD now. Okay, no, never mind. Oh, my God. Wait, what the hell is that moving inside of there? Oh, wait. Oh, my shit. It's the dogs. Hold on. Damn it. Oh, oh, God. Ah, oh, damn it. Stop jumping. Oh, they went back into the fire. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, they're burning. So, like, how in the hell are they, like, still functional? Like, it, it's just, it's, it's beyond me at this point. Yo, they keep standing up, dude. Jesus. All right, is it over? It should be. Man. Oh, I don't even... You know what? Let me just go through the... Let me just go through this door, if anything else. Like, you know what I mean? All right, so we still have a ways to go before getting to the uh, RPD. But nonetheless, I mean, just look at the environment. I, you have to appreciate that. Like, you really do. Because... Oh, AI. Yeah, it's, it's locked with a simple lock. You, you see that? Do you see that nonsense? It's just locked with a simple lock. Like, what the hell? Oh, wait. Is this it? Oh, there it is. There it is, boys. The Raccoon City Police Department. Look at, um, look at the chaos, though. Like, this is just great. Now, again, if memory serves me correct, we're going to fight the nemesis right now. Let me see. Yep, I knew it. Get out of here, dude. Oh, sweet Jesus. No, no. Oh, my God. Oh. Zamasu. Damn. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Okay. One of the most iconic characters in all of gaming. He's running towards me. Um, okay, uh, fight with the monster or enter the police station. You know what? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna fight with the monster. Oh, God. All right, let me, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I, uh, I'll equip my, my uh, AR. All right. Oh, God. All right, how do I, how do I fight him? He, he grabbed me. Let me go, Moro. Damn it, Zamasu. This is not good. Oh, this is not good at all. All right, come on. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, oh he just ate all of that. Come on. Okay. Let go of me. I don't taste good, trust me. I'm on my period, let me go! He's gonna eat me, dude. Hold on. That's right, that's right, that's right. Come on, come on. Oh, how do I... Come on, come on. I have to I have to be able to dodge him. He's just slamming me around the area, dude. Really? Oh, really? I'm dead? What? Are you kidding me? Wow. I mean, that, that was good, but wow. Oh, we're not done. 
Oh, that was good. What the hell? Oh, holy crap. Isn't this crazy? Welcome to the Resident Evil 2 remake. Oh, oh boy. All right, so we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to get the hell out of here. Unlike before, I'm not trying to gun these zombies down, man. Oh my, there's so many of them. But you, but you gotta love, like, the atmosphere and, like, the detail and stuff. Like, you know what I mean? I gotta get the hell out of here. I mean, just look at all this blood. You know, like, bodies were being dragged and stuff, so I gotta get the hell... Where am I supposed to go? Uh, oh yeah, that's right here. Alright, so I haven't played this in a while, actually. I mean, it's pretty crazy how we just played the original one, and now we're playing this, you know what I mean? So... It's everybody. Yeah. They've all turned. Yeah, no, I mean, come on, Leon. For this, I will say, like, getting to the RPD station is really easy. I'm about to show you guys right now. Come on, Leon. I mean, just graphically, this game is amazing. It's just too bad, you know, there Welcome is. to Raccoon City was just a complete shit show. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I don't, I don't have the affordability right now to just take on these zombies by myself with just a handgun. Yo, I love it. I love it. Look at them. They're hanging from buses. They're just falling out of cars. Come on, Leon. Oh, here we go. All right. Open the gate. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty, that's a pretty grisly shot right there. They're trying to come in. Look at that. They borrowed that from the, from the game, of course. They borrowed it from this for Welcome to Raccoon City. Well, that's it. Welcome to the city. Look at these zombies, though. Like, that's... I wouldn't know what to do. Like, I mean, if they're slow zombies, it is what it is, but time for me to get inside the RPDs. Look at these. Oh my god, look at these bodies, dude. Seriously. I wouldn't know if I want to go in here, but. Alright. Anyone home? What's going on? Oh boy. Hello? Is anybody here? Well, welcome to your uh, first day on the force, kid. All right, let's log on to this to see what's going on. Do you see the stark difference? I need you guys to let me know which uh, version you guys prefer. The remake or the original? There must be someone here. Well, I don't know, Leon is there. I would piss myself if I saw something like that. That dude's running, bro. It's in where? Just take the zombie out, dude. Oh, he's done. He is dead. Yeah, come on, Leon. East hallway, Leon. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna have to go through some shit to get there. I mean, all right. I mean, listen. For Leon's sake, you know, coming here and whatnot, it's uh, it has to be like a surreal experience. What is this? Got some ammo. I mean, for some people, like I get a lot of people are gonna say, "Oh, the hell with everything. I would just leave." But where's Marvin? Yeah, we haven't. Uh, I think he's over here, right? Alright, we can go inside of here. I, com I completely forgot. Um, can we do that? No. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, we're gonna have to crawl. Oh, man, look at this. This is some sh I wouldn't know. I would not go in there. If I saw all that blood, are you crazy? Leon, dude, nah. Nah, man, the whole east side of the building is all destroyed. Are you crazy? Oh, man. Well, there's the fuse box. There's freaking water down here. All right, boys and girls, welcome. What the hell was that? Yeah, Leon, you got this. There's just a bunch of flesh-eating cannibals in here, you know? That could oh, that could also turn you into one if you're not careful. Oh, come on. Hold on, I have to press A. Alright, let's just put this over here real quick. I love the remake so much because it just makes everything feel so dark and destroyed. Look at this. Like, obviously a lot of this had been changed... Oh my god, look. Jesus. Yeah, man. They've been torn apart. Can't go in there yet. Open what up. happened? Hurry! Open up! Don't tell me what to Open do, homie. Door. Don't tell me what to do! 
Well, I have to do it anyway. All right, well. Oh, this this is about to be insane. Watch this. I remember this. I remember this. This poor guy. Well, hurry up. Give me your thing, man. Come on. Come on, guy. Oh. Oh, he's he's lunch. Oh, he's lunch. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, my man is ground beef, bro. Damn. Uh they're trying to come in, yo. They smell me now. Listen, I'm not ground beef, homie. I don't think you want any of this. All right, the officer's notebook. What the hell is this? It's just drawings. Okay, uh, yeah, I remember those statues. All right, well, I gotta get the hell out of here, man. Uh-oh. Oh, you better back up. You better back up. Yeet. Come on. Yeet. Oh, where the hell are they coming from? Oh, the window, they crawled in. Oh, crap. I gotta get the hell out of here. Jesus. Oh, boy. Where the hell did they come from, though? Oh, come on. Come on, Leon. Anybody behind me? Anybody? Who's there? Oh, look. It's the fat cop. Down you go. Oh, wait, we actually blew his head off. That's pretty dope. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, this is intense. All right, um, come on. Come on, crawl through. Crawl through, kid. Come on. Oh, boy. Get off me! Thank you. Crush him. Stomp. That's it. Happy Halloween, right? What's up? Thanks, Marv. Marvin Brown. My man, Marv. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I could. Yeah, you couldn't. He's he was ground beef, bro. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. I wouldn't touch him. Oh, you got blood on me now. I'm sure, you did what you could, Leon. Well, yeah, I tried. What the hell's going on, man? You mind explaining things? Huh? Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. See, that's 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 smart. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. I mean, I guess, right? I mean. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Oh, this is not the time, bro. Able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. Yeah. What about him? Thought this secret passageway might do the trick. There's a secret pathway, man. This is That's right. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. Hey. You save yourself first. Okay. I'd come with you, but I just slow you down. Well, I mean, damn, bro. Now. You'll need this. Did Did you really have to call me a rookie? I can't take. Stop. Him. Oh, he's a brave one. He's a real one. My mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not. Okay. You do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? I yo, I got it. I I captain. <laughs> yo, this, this dude, this dude's dying, bro. I, I mean, listen. If you're not the priority, then I guess you know, putting a a round in you wouldn't really be that troublesome right i mean it would help him out he doesn't have to suffer or like you know look at his knife though by the way oh long giant knife i'm gonna be sticking this inside some zombies all right so the combat knife yeah i already know how to play man i already know how to play trust me this is not my first rodeo for this all right so it, it is my first rodeo for uh the xbox version though all right so yeah i kind of figured yep yeah, we need a special kind of key for this all right let's uh get the hell up in here all right, let's see what we got going on. Now, again, you guys have just seen me play the original, right? 
Now I want you guys to see something because this is a little different. At least from what I can remember, right? Oh, this is going to be good. Look at the size of these things. Look at the size of these green herbs, man. My god, they're giant. So you guys have seen the remake, right? Now watch this. The window. No liquor, right? Crazy, right? Look at all the blood, though, for this. Oh, boy. One of my favorite parts. Oh, look at all this blood, dude. Anyone in here that's alive? Listen, I, I wouldn't know what to do in a situation like this. I wouldn't even touch him. Leon thinks that it's a good idea, but watch this. No. No, Leon. No. Aw. Oh, ah. Yeah, that's that's not. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, dude. Oh my god. There's a pool of blood on the ground, man. Now, just in case if you're wondering what made it, you see these claws right here on the wall? Yeah, it's in the building. Oh, man. And it came through that window more, li more than likely. God, we, we, need a, we need a good Resident Evil film, not these cruddy films being made by idiots. Oh, shit. Alright, well, so as long as you stay behind that window, we should be fine. Yeah, someone hungry? Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Oh, she's in. Alright. Come on. Time to take off the trash. Stay down, ma'am. Or sir. That's right. Let me just let me just make sure. They're still crawling. Alright, back of the head. Alright, that should be it, right? I can't believe it, dude. How many shots? I only have six bullets left. Are you like are, are, are they are they gone? Jesus. Okay. I think they should be dead. Man, look at this place. Obviously, you can tell how different it is, you know, by comparison to the original, right? Because the original, it's like everything, like everything was destroyed and stuff. But for this, everything just got turned up a notch, like times 20. Oh, damn, I'm going to have to clip that. All right. I need a, uh, I need bolt cutters. What is this? Oh, the police station first floor map. Okay. All right. Making the use of the map. I already got that. All right, you know, so far, things are looking up for us, I suppose. Speaking of up, actually. All right. Let's crawl through here. Oh, crap. Hey. He's still walking. Oh, I missed that one. Damn it, is he dead? I, I, I just had to be sure. I'm sorry. I just had to be sure. Oh, man, I know he's going to get up. Let me... Let me just walk around a little bit. Oh, look at that. Alright, well, let's go on ahead and just check in here. Anyone home? What is this? Oh, we got gunpowder. Okay. The use of gunpowder. We already know how to use that. Let me just go on ahead and just skip that. All right, I, I think I know he's going to get up too, but there's a vault here. Nothing else of use. Yeah. All right, we're, we'll do all that stuff another time. I love, like, the eeriness behind this, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so eerie. What is this? All right, the operation room. Okay, well, I, I don't really need to be reading up on no report. I'm trying to get my ass out of here, you know what I mean? Yeah, the rookie's manual, nah. All right. Anything else? Oh! Oh, he's up. I, what'd I tell you? Yeet! Son of a bitch. Come on, come on. Yo, he doesn't even have a face anymore, Mike. Oh, my God. Oh, he... Oh, you saw the way he fell? Oh, my God. Look at that. Hold on. 
Damn, he hit his head and everything. Look, look at the way he slumped over. Oh, that's hilarious. Hold on. Oh, damn, he... He landed pretty hard, man. Is he is he still alive? I hope not. That was a rough landing, dude. He got shot in the face. Oh, what the hell was that? It's got to be... Uh, let me see. Hold on. I don't see anybody. All right, we need that key, too. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, it's in there. Yeah, I see the shadow. Sir? Sir? You about to get shot, sir. Oh, boy. Oh, what the hell? Come on. That's right. Any more? Is, is, he, is, he, is he done? He should be done. But then again, like, these zombies are known for, like, getting up randomly and stuff, you know? Look at this dude. He hit... Yo, he's he had to have broken his neck, too. So not only did he have a rough landing, but he... Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, it's this dude. Oh, crap. Oh, God. What the... Oh, oh, wait. I have no more... Oh, I have no more bullets. Let me knife him. Let me knife him. Nah, he's gonna... He wants to give me a hickey. That's right. I got an achievement. Wow. That's how you know... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. That's it. Game over. I'm infected. That's it. I got the T-Virus, man. Look at that giant hickey on my neck. Why can't I... I, I tried to grab the knife from him. Oh, God. I have to run. My knife. Screw you, zombies. All right. I, I know the save room is in here. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. You know what? We're going to save just because I, I don't want to, like... I don't want to lose my my progress just in case something were to happen so let's see first i want to check the lockers to see if they have like any ammo and stuff so check the lockers come on and yes we do yeah i this is gonna get this is gonna get crazy oh i can't wait for it. let me go in ahead and just combine some stuff real quick brilliant we got some ammo all right and now and now we're going to go on ahead and save this and move on to the next one. Okay, so the game is saved and now it's time for us to move on and just see what the other side of this has for us. I mean, I Yo, they're trying to get in, bro. The other side Let me let me see something real quick. Hold on. Where you at, compadre? Huh? Did he just vanish? Okay. Uh Let me see here real quick. I know he's around here somewhere. Where is he? Where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. And there's my knife. Yeah, that's right. Damn, yo. Damn, yo. Damn, Jesus. I, yo, I missed like... Oh, my God. I'm wasting ammo here. Let me just pick my knife up. Listen, I, I need you guys to let me know as to what you would do in a situation like this because... I don't know, man. Oh, my God. What was that? Oh, he's in. Oh, crap. Come on. All right, he hit his head. Is he dead? He's not dead. Stay down. Okay, now he's dead. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what is he doing? Oh, my God. Okay. You did me a favor there, pal. Shit. How is he still moving, dude? Come on. That's it? Is he dead? All right, he should be dead. Oh, my. Look at this, man. That, that's pretty scary. I, that's so scary. Like slumped over forward like that like you're nuts you're nuts if you think i would ever even touch you or just do anything to kind of investigate because i don't know you might spring up and bite me or something like hell no dude we got pink marijuana on the floor all right um let's what's what's here what's here oh wait is this the uh yeah it's the, that's the steam room okay that's the bathrooms and stuff all right so let me just check these lock i know these one of these lockers has a zombie don't have a shotgun right now, so that's pretty pointless. Let me... What is this? Oh, the portable safe. Yes. Alright, so... There's a zombie in one of these lockers. I'm not sure if he's dead or if he's gonna attack. Is this it? That's not it. So it has to be this one. Alright, oh god. Alright. Oh, there he is. Oh god. And... Is he... What the hell was that? Is he dead? Alright, I think he's dead. Is he dead? Yeah, I think he's dead. Alright, cool. As long as he doesn't get up. Alright, we need a valve for that. Alright, Leon. Time for us to go another floor up.
Oh, this is where it's gonna start getting creepy. Y'all heard that? Oh, what is that? Hold on. Y'all hear that, right? I hear a zombie somewhere. Oh, damn it. As long as there's not a zombie that pops in right now, I'm good. Oh, we found our key. That's awesome. Perfect. Okay, um, before I go, though, let me see. Holy. What in the... Oh, my. What is happening right now? Okay, that was awesome. That was really awesome. The placement of the liquor is, like, really off, but... Yeah, I remember this. They sealed this off, right? I'm just before I go in here. What is this? Oh, I remember this. Okay, okay. All right. So, oh man. Am I gonna fight the liquor now? I forgot when. This game is so much better than Resident Evil 3's remake. I'm telling you that right now. You guys have no idea. The, the, the RE3 remake, what the hell is this? Look like a freaking Digimon. Look like Moro for a second. The, the RE3 remake was such a disappointment. Oh. Hello. Is he dead? Nah, I, I would... I would walk around him so fast. The RE3 remake was just such a letdown, man. Because they took away so much. And they could have included so much as well. But, for whatever reason, they decided, hey. Let's just not give the people what they want. Oh, yes. Extra, yes. The hip pouch. Awesome. Got another achievement. Hip to add for... Okay, so... Is this thing moving? I, I don't... Okay, never mind. Oh, I remember this. Nice. I remember this. There's zombies down here. Alright. Jesus Christ! Alright, well, we're in action. All right, stay back. Come on. Any more? Any more? All right, come on. Oh, we blew his head off. That's it. All right, that guy's dead. All right, so we got one more zombie. You know what? I'm going to shoot her in the leg. Haha, ah, she fell right under him. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. She's moving with him on top. Like, she looks like she's about to give him, like, an Alabama slam or something. Oh, he's alive, too? All right, his head's gone. Look at her. Oh, that was pretty cool for the moment. Shut up, lady. Shot her in the throat and in the head. That should be it. Is she gone? Alright, I know he's gone. But is his friend moving? No, okay. They often tend to, like, move or get up afterwards. So I'm gonna have to be careful. What the hell was that? Oh, I knew it. I, what did I just tell you? Man, you gotta applaud these people for putting this together. Okay. The red book. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me examine this real quick. All right. So a piece of plastic shaped like a book. Okay. But like, what is it? Can I open it? Why can't I open it? Uh, is there any way to open this book? I feel like I'm Ash Williams trying to read from the book of the dead. Why can't we? Okay. So we can't. Oh, uh, that sucks. We can't open this thing. That sucks. What's the point of that? All right. Whatever. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go on ahead and use this key. Alright. Now, what what does Marvin want? Is he down there? He's right there. Alright, Marvin, don't worry, I'm coming. Do you have any intel? Do you have any porn? I mean, that would be useful right now. I mean, you know, it's just d desperate times, you know, desperate times. Alright, what's happening right now? What's happening? What up, man? There you are. Come yep. Here. Take a look. Oh, he's dying, man. Oh. Yes. I knew she'd make it. You know her? Yeah, I know her. Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. Damn right. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on it. Thanks. I, I don't know, man. This dude is dying. And he's like, thanks, Lieutenant. Look at him. He's... I mean, he's a good dude and all, but 
Let me just make sure that I, uh, that I save my progress just in case. You know what I mean? I don't want to lose anything. All right, wonderful. So if I end up getting killed by a zombie or if Mr. X kind of slams my head against the wall too often and my head just bursts like a melon, then at least we can come back and uh, try again, I suppose. So the east side of the building. Let's get it. Halloween season. Why the hell not, right? Oh, boy. I'll grab some Mediquana. Oh, I can't do that. Wait. Oh, wait, I did. Never mind. I was about to say, I have no more space. Another little thing right there. Oh, I hear I hear some shiat coming from the other side right here. Oh, boy. All right, freeze. What is happening? Okay. Anyone home? What the? Jesus Christ! Yeah, I remember that. Did it come from this side? No, it came from the other side, I think. Okay, yeah, so this is, yeah, this is the, uh, the gate that we're gonna have to actually open, I think by using, like, a valve or something. Alright, let's, uh, well, first let's go in here. Oh, I remember this, yeah, they kept that true. Interesting, okay, uh, yeah, I definitely need that right there. Um, uh, they, they couldn't have made that, you know, any more obvious. Let me go on ahead and just take that, uh, put that, wait, hold on. Yep, take that. Put the statue's arm right there. All right, let's see. Wait, are you kidding me? I I don't I don't get the little. Oh, that sucks. You you bastard! You tricked me. Or I may, maybe I don't know. It's been a long time since I've actually played this. So ah, the key card, the weapons locker key card. I think that's where we have the uh, the shotgun downstairs. If I'm not mistaken. All right, well, let's go on ahead and check that airplane. That little helicopter, right? Let's go on ahead and check out to see how, how the chopper's doing. Which, crazy about it, you know, Mr. X ends up lifting this. Look at that. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're done. Like, you know, like, I don't know. I, I'm just surprised it didn't blow up instantly, you know, like it should. Uh, let me go on ahead and combine that. Thank you very much. All right, where's clear? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's scary. Leon? Babe, is that you? Claire, hold on. I'll be right there. Okay. Oh, look. She, lo she looks so excited. She's like, oh, my God. A dick appointment? Hell, yeah. Right? <laughs> that That's her right now. And me, I'm like, I got some buns Claire. appointment. was good. It's so nice oh. to see you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They're flirting. They're flirting. The helicopter just came out of yeah. nowhere. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those Dude, schools. kick the door down. That door is like so fodder. No. But That's such an ass it. door. Like what? You know, just surviving. Oh yeah, you don't say, right? Oh yeah, ha ha ha. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're Yeah, don't lose hope. Kiss me. Oh shit. Okay, I spoke too soon. Okay, now kiss me. Damn it. You know what that means? Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, dinner time indeed. Oh, here they are. Oh boy. Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. What you mean? Yo, get out of there. Oh. Need to go now. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not safe. This. Both of us. Listen to me. That door right there cannot be that difficult to uh, kick Marvin, down. I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin, do you copy? Oh no. Marvin. Oh no, wait, did did Marvin turn? Oh crap. Uh what is this? Oh bolt cutters, yes. Oh, I don't have any space. Hold on, let me uh uh shit. Let me alright, uh there we go. Yes. Okay, so I think Marvin's like dying. Like that door pisses me off because logic, like when using logic into all this, like that door cannot be that, you know, that durable. I would kick that door down like crazy. Oh boy. All right, back. Back, I said. All right, he should be done. Oh, nice. I love how they keep the bodies there, dude. That's awesome. They kept all of their bodies there. I love that. Oh, what the hell was that? 
Oh, you can actually hear them, dude. Oh, that's not good. Listen, y'all. I'm not trying to... Okay, there's no zombie here. Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh, we can't access that. Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, well, let me... Let me get rid of this zombie since I know he's walking around. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, I hate, I hate missing. Oh, God, I hate missing, dude. We wasted so much, so much ammo. All right, uh, let me, let me see one thing real quick. Yeah, the situation now is bad. Oh, my God. Yo, you're on fire. How the hell are you, like, even running towards me, man? I gotta get the... Let me see. I gotta, I gotta get to Marvin. This is the only way to get to Marvin, right? Alright, Marvin? Is, is he there? Is he dead? My recommendation, though, is to watch the uh, animated Resident Evil movies. You guys are gonna like it. Like, Degeneration and, like... I forgot the names of it, but just look up Resident Evil Animation. Anima animated movies. Alright, he's, uh... He alive? Still all right, still alive. He's breathing. He's like moping around, but well, I, listen. I would put him out of his misery. That's just me. Now I gotta go back and check what's going on. That's pretty intense. I mean, I don't know, man. I I would not want to be doing this alone. So she could be looking for her brother, but oh, the, the body's gone, dude. What the hell? Where they go? Oh! What the? Come on. All right, down he goes. He should be done. Is he going to get up? Okay, perfect. Any more zombies? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. All right, hold on. Let me let me just be sure about this. All right, is he, is he dead? I have one bullet left. Oh, my Christ. That's it, right? You, you guys aren't going to get up? No? He's right in front of the door, man. I have to... All right, you're going to stay there, right? Oh, walk over him, Leon. Yeah, I, I would definitely want to work with Claire. Like, you know, if, if we're alone... Damn. Oh, yes, we got ammo. Perfect. If we were alone in all of this, like, you know, it, it's just... It just doesn't seem like a situation... Oh, he's still alive, this guy? All right, come on, dude. Okay, he should be done now. It just doesn't seem like a situation where you want to... You know, just being by yourself, you know, or maybe I'm just crazy. But definitely, definitely sticking with someone's the best way. Oh, crap. We got zombie police officers up in here. Oh, they're getting in, dude. They're jumping. Oh, man, they're, they're jumping the gun here. All right, hold on. Yeet. All right, fall down, dude. Come on. All right, this guy. Okay, he's, is he dead? Okay. Uh. Back. Any more zombies? Still walking. He got no. He got no face. Oh, he hit his head on the desk. You saw that? This dude's still alive. Hold on. Yeet. Oh wait. Oh oh oh. He hit his. Oh my god. He hit his head on the desk too. That's funny. Both of these stumbling, bumbling things just freaking hit the desk. That's funny. All right. Flash grenade. Uh. Don't really have any space for that. Oh, what does he have? Oh, ammo. -y. Oh, wait, I don't have any. Oh, damn it. Let me. All right. Oh, I can't even. Oh, that sucks. Oh, damn it. I have to. Yeah, I have to discard. No, oh, no. All right, screw it. We need ammo. We need ammo. All right, a total of 15 rounds. See, oh, man, I'm going to. I'm going to keep the gun powder for something else, though. All right, Leon. I'm telling y'all right now, this game is just so, so good. But it really, it, it boils down to all the electrical part. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, my God. Um, You know what? Ah, I have to make a sacrifice. One, two, three. Okay, reload. And I just made space. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm going to put this in. All right. Wonderful. So now 
the gate is open. See, see, this makes life so much easier. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we get to do so much more. Oh, I'm telling you guys right now, this is going to be... This is going to be insane. As we continue to do this, as we continue to play this, it's really up to you guys on, on whether or not we should continue this moving forward. All right. Uh, oh, we don't need the key anymore. Okay. Okay, so now... Now I kind of understand what needs to be done, what doesn't need to be done. Oh, the bodies are gone. Hold on, wait a minute. That's that's not a good sign, I would argue, but let me come in here. Um, okay, so these codes here, we have a bunch of numbers. What is this? Uh, this is the two, okay, 208. We got, what is this, 203. That's That's a hit pouch, we need that for sure. Do I have any of those keys? Oh my god. How is two and three missing? Are you kidding me? Okay. So I guess we'll just have to do some of these, I suppose. 102. Okay. We got 103. 106. Okay. 109. All right. So I think I think I know what I need to do. So let's go ahead and put 106 first. That's going to unlock that. I think that's gunpowder, which is kind of good because we, we can actually combine that to make some ammo. So, 109, because we don't have three here. Got some handgun ammo, baby. Either way, I really hope you guys have been enjoying this, especially back to back. You know, like RE2, the, the OG game, and now this, you know? Yeah, that's definitely. Oh no, it's a roll of film. Okay, uh, we'll just add that there, I, I suppose. I thought that was gunpowder for a second. Yeah, we got we got so much more coming. I'm going to unlock this for the next one cuz I don't want to get the shotgun just yet. But I'm telling you right now, first I'm going to go ahead and just go and save my game before anything else. Oh god, any zombies here? Okay, yes, no. All right, as I explore my area, I wait, can I I can't I can't go through that. Okay. Oh, trust me, we have so much more coming. I just hope you guys really enjoyed this because this was Oh, they're coming through. Hold on. One last, one last zombie kill for this portion of the uh, Halloween roulette. And that's all we needed, baby. He's down. Man, it's been a long time since I went back on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Condemned to Bloodshot. I am in a homeless area. I guess I'm going to be following this, uh, this homeless bum here. I, I haven't played this in such a long time before what i do remember we're gonna be getting ourselves into some shit i think demons and all sorts of other things what's he doing man get the hell out of the way all right let's see here there we go is this a uh is this a trap i have no idea what's happening right now first of all who's this homeless guy what the hell is he doing hey wake up man stop doing heroin on the floor and wake up well, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh shit! Look at his face. What the hell? Hey, come say that to my face. Yeah, come say that to my face, homie. Oh, wait a minute. So yeah, I remember when I beat the first condemned game. Look at this dude waking up his other homies. All right, so I guess uh, we're gonna get our. Oh Jesus Christ! All right, so they're gonna be hopping the fence. So we got ourselves a bum fight. Bum fight! Let's go ahead and beat the shit and these freaking bums, bro. Now, from what I do understand right now, yeah, you ain't getting up. You ain't getting up, homie. From what I do understand right now, I think this is like a little small tutorial on how to like beat up the bums. You know what? I'm gonna punch you in your dick. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see here. Okay, there we go. Uh, so I know how to block now. Okay. And the reason why I'm playing this is because I think my uh, my main character here had been through like some crazy shit, right? So I have to like discover what the hell's happening. This dude's not going down. Come on. Vegeta. Yo, he, he feels like Vegeta no matter how many times I'm hitting him. He's bleeding all over the place, bro. He's like growing stronger, right? Jesus. Am I supposed to? Yeah, I think I'm supposed to follow the uh, the routine of me just beating him up while blocking, I suppose. Yo, this guy's not going down. Talk about having a chin. Like, dude, it's Halloween season. Just like go down already. Like, just finish him. Why isn't he going down? I wouldn't know what to do in a situation. My God, dude, finally. Jesus Christ. Okay, we have the 1-2 uh, combo. Okay, perform a 1-2 combo. We got more bums climbing the fence. 
Right, I mean, this is... Is this how, like, bum fights originally started? Right? Let me see here. There we go. One, two, combo. Perfected. What is that? The party combo. Okay, uh... Come on, the parry combo. Come on. What you got? What you got? Yeah, you about to get got. Oh, I missed that uppercut, bro. Listen, I mean, in a situation like this, if I was a homeless person, too, like, yeah, I mean, I would partake in a bunch of bum fights. I mean, why the hell not, right? Come on. Come on. Come on. I know that there are, like, some weird demons in this game and, like, all sorts of other crazy shit, you know what I mean? But I do prefer the, uh, the first game more than this one, because this one deals with, like, the supernatural. Oh, melee combat, yes. Uh, grab a 2x4 from the garbage can. Where's the, uh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Time for me to swing my 2x4 with nails. You want some of this? Oh, welcome. Welcome back to bum fights, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, dude. Jesus, yeah, he ain't getting up. I'm gonna make sure you ain't getting up. Yeah, violence. I have awoken today, and I've chosen violence. Oh, he got a pipe. Hold on, hold on. He has a pipe. He has a pipe. I am not going to sit around and let this guy beat me with a pipe. Oh my, I, I just broke my, uh, I broke my two by four, bro. Oh my, where the hell did he come from? You want some of this? This is bum fights, episode nine. That's right. Take it. Take it. Yo, y'all better be giving me like all the likes for this. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he got a brick. Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No! Hey! Oh, what the hell just happened? Oh, he knocked me out. Did he really knock me out? Yo. Talk about, like, that's horrifying, first and foremost. Oh, wait. Is this, like, uh, did I wake up, like, in another dimension or something? Look at the, uh, look at the environment and shit, right? It's definitely, uh, it's definitely not normal, so... Where am I... Am I supposed to go here? Oh. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. See... I mean, I don't think there's a wind strong enough that had done that. Oh, my God. All right, uh, news reports. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so I'm supposed to grab onto the antenna and then, like, kind of get, like, a picture, right? Is this it? Uh, oh. What the hell is this? Like, psychopaths, bro. Oh, what the hell? Yo! What are you? Oh! Oh, he's a demon, bro. He's got to be a demon catch up to Van Horn. Why would I want to catch up to him? Are you out of your... Are, are you out of your mind? Nah, you're out of your mind. Oh, there's... I hear static. Oh, it's because I think they have, like, those devices and stuff, right? That kind of, like, fuck you up. Let me grab this. Yo, anybody in here? Any homeless people in here? I mean, let me grab this pipe. Oh, I hear some shit in here, bro. Hey, who's in here? You about to get piped down. Oh, crap. Literally and figuratively, I promise you. Oh, oh, is that a dog? Oh, that's a dog in there, bro. Chill. Um, I guess uh, we'll be going down here, right? I mean, let's see what we find. Anyone down here? Oh. Oh, yeah, there's someone down here. What up? You, look, you looking for some smoke? I got all the smoke. What's up, bitch? Yaga! Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, come on, come on. That's right. Yeah, you think you're tough? Yeah, you think you're tough? Yeah, bitch. Where's that? Oh, the sonic meters. That's right. Yeah, the sonic emitters. So that's why you guys hear like that weird noise is because the sonic emitter. I, I was never a fan of this, to be honest, but where is the sonic emitter? It's got to be here somewhere. But before I do that, let me let me access the television here. All right. Any any news channels or some shit? Anything? Oh, Oh, they're fucking with people's brains, huh? Oh, shut up. All right, whatever. Uh, so I need to screw the TV. Um, is there anything here that I can... Oh, what is this? Wait, wait, wait. What the hell's going on? Ah, oh, wait. Is it there? I think it is. There it is. Oh, screw that shit, bro. Ah, let me see. Yeet. Yeah, this is, uh... Did y'all just hear that? Oh, boy. So, I don't know, man, like, my character's going through, like, delusions and stuff. Bro, I don't even, I don't even want to be here. Like, why am I, why am I down here, you know? Oh, shit! He has a chair! Yee! Yeah, you would've thought. I got a, I got a crowbar, homie. Yeah, I got... How is he, like, taking so many crowbar shots to the face? Bitch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to throw shit at me, huh? Let's get the hell out of here, bro. God. Yo, this is why you guys watch the gaming roulette videos. I promise you, this is all we do. We beat up homeless people. All right, let's uh, let's see this real quick. All right, um, anything else? What do we got going on? 
Who is this? I I forgot. Who is this? Who is this guy? Is he Batman? Like he's talking about the scums of the city. Screw you, bitch. All right. Um. Oh. What the hell was that? Oh. Oh, I see you out there. I see you. You think you're slick, huh? Let me see. Chain attacks. Come on, bring it on. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. Hold on. I forgot this. Hold on. They added so many new things in this game by comparison to the first one. He's kicking me in my dick. Yeet. Yeet. Oh wait. Wait, am I supposed to time that? I think I am. Hold on. Yeah, look look at him. He's trying to swing. Yo, wait. Oh, I, miss, I messed up again. Come on, Alex. Why am I messing up? I should not be messing up. Yeah. Oh, wait. I, oh, my God. I need to... So, I need to press it at the right moment. One. Oh, now he gave me the left trigger. All right, that sucks. All right, you missed again. He's all bloody. Here we go. Bam and bam and bam. There we go. Yeah, not so tough now, are you? Jackass. All right, uh, environmental kills. Oh, we have environmental kills. Okay. Oh, where the hell did he come from, bro? Jesus Christ, you saw that? Let me, uh... Oh, damn. Oh, his ribs are all messed up. Uh, so I'm guessing we're gonna perform an environmental kill, so... I, uh... Let's see... I Actually, um... Yeah. Yeah! This is, uh, Channel 5 Action News. Yeah, you ain't so tough now. I'll kick you right in your freaking face. Son of a bitch. Yeah, guy. Just, I, I just have to make sure that these guys stay down, you feel me? Oh, what the hell? Oh! J where did he come from? Where are they coming from, dude? He's trying to grab that pipe, you would've thought. Yeah, I'm breaking your legs, homie. Breaking your legs. It's Halloween season, man. I don't even know what movie to watch that's, like, kind of correlated to this. I wanna watch a movie like this, you know what I mean? But... I need to get the hell out of here. I mean, I talk about delusion and stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, what the hell? I hear an airplane or a helicopter. Wait, what's going on? Oh, is that is that Van Horn? Hey! Hey, wait! Wait, no. Where's where's he going? Don't follow him. Like in, in actuality, don't pull like the typical white person shit and follow them, but it is what it is. Alright, um, where am I going? Can I go through here? I can't. Uh what is that? Oh, oh shit! Oh no! Oh god, it's a dog. Hold on. Oh, I feel so bad, man. I feel so bad. But I mean, it's it, I don't. What else am I supposed to do? You know what I mean? Uh, so I can't use health kits. Okay. So, oh, is that fence open? I think it is. All right, time for us to get the hell out of here. I don't know who's opening these fences and shit, but oh, what the hell? You see that? Yo, did you just see that? You heard that? Return to your homes and lock the doors. Did you just see that? Oh my god, they, they were eating this dude. Oh, dude, either they busted out of him or they just they just ate him alive. Or they maybe busted inside of him. I don't know. I mean, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they were eating him. You know what I mean? Oh, man, we got little, you know, dark goo demons around here, dude. Like, what the? Ah, more of these sonic thingies getting in the way. Yeah, this is this is definitely what I remember this game for being for. But I mean, I don't know. It's just like this game is a little wonky compared to the first one the first one was really grounded and i really enjoyed that one so much more what the hell was that but i will say though you know some uh, there were there were a few people that were like yo what about condemned and i was like all right and between the two games that i was able to download i got this one so here we are uh now van horn's on the other side of this i don't know like why are we chasing this dude down who cares he's not he's not really van horn hey Van Horn, no, hold up. no, no, don't, don't talk to you. No, don't talk to him. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. All right, well, this entire place is like all gooed out. Oh, what the hell, bro? Are you kidding me? All right, you about to catch these hands, homie. You about to catch this crowbar to the. Oh, what the fucking. Oh, Jesus. Where the hell did this. Ew, he has black goo coming out of his face and. Man, get out of here. Yeah, God. I'll take you both on. I don't give a damn. Oh, here, oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. He's all covered in boo goo. Yeah, God. Yeet! Jesus, is, does he have like a plastic bag on his face, or is that like, did he get jizzed on by demons? You know what I mean? Like, oh my god, man! Talk about out of touch. Um, what am I gonna do? Damn it! Where am I supposed to go? All these doors are locked. Trust me, man. Trust me. I do not want to be in a situation where where I'm in this particular predicament. Hell no. Hell no. Oh, man. Alright, uh, I'm pretty sure... What the hell? 
Oh wait, am I supposed to? Can I crawl through there or something? Right? Can I? Can I fit through here or? Oh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Ah! Oh wait, I see. Hold on, let me let me back up. Oh, I okay, okay. All right, all right. Oh, okay, I see, I see. What the hell is going? Listen, I don't. Oh, demons! Oh, you saw that elbow? Oh, what the hell, bro? Demons! Back in the name of Jesus! In the name of Jesus Christ, I will defeat thee! Where are these things, dude? Get away from me, Ivan Ooze! Damn, son. About to make a whole grown man, like, shit himself while playing this game. It's some wacky shit, man. I don't even know what the hell's happening. I mean, if you guys want me to go back and play, like, Condemned 1, I'll do it. Or if you want me to continue this, I'll do it, too. I'm just saying, like, I know this game is a whole lot wonkier than the first one. And I remember playing the, uh, the multiplayer for this, too. Oh, shit! Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, thank God. So, let me... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, my God, dude, really? And, and here's the thing. I remember I used to play the multiplayer for this, like, way back in the day. And it was fun. Like, we used to beat, we used to beat each other's asses, like, in the alleyway and stuff. Jesus Christ. Freaking dogs and stuff, dude. What, like, what, what the hell? What is going on? I hear, like, people dying. What the hell's happening right now, dude? Where am I supposed to go? I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. What the hell? Oh, oh, what the, dude, yeah, God. All right, thank God these are, like, one shots. Oh, look at, did you, just, oh my, did you just see that? Where'd he go? Come on. Oh, that thing disappeared, bro. That thing disappeared. Can I access this? I can't. What, what was that thing even doing? Like, you saw him? It was, like, all hunched over, and then it ran away. Uh, let me... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it was eating that dog, dude. Oh, come on. All right, well, I'm guessing that I'm supposed to go down this way here, right? I would not... I'm telling you, I would not be in a situation like this. This is, like, this is, like, too much. Aha! Uh, throwing weapons. Okay, so... All right, I can't go inside of here, which means... I need to throw something over there, but I don't have a weapon, which is pretty bad. And those little sonic emitters, like, they're really pissing me off because I don't know if you guys can hear it. I can hear it, and I don't know. It, it's meant to throw the player off, but it is what it is. Yaga. All right, let me, uh, let me climb up this ladder here. God, Lord knows what awaits me up here, man. I don't even, I don't even want to imagine, but it is what it is. So let me make my way up here. And see how far I can actually get. And if I can get far enough, then it is what it is. All of this because we're looking for some dude, you know? Like, come on. Like, he's a demon. What the hell's going on here? Wait, what's happening? Oh, wait, there's the sonic emitter. Hold on. Okay, there's a sonic emitter right there. Hold on. Oh, demons! Demons! Nah! Black goo demons, whatever the hell they are, my exes. All these girls that I used to talk to back in the day, man, they've manifested themselves. Oh, this is... Oh, this is bad. What am I what am I supposed to do? Get away. Oh god, there's more of them. Get away. Uh, let's see here. Oh wait. What is this? Can we Okay, there we go. Oh my lord, bro. Where are Oh my god, where are we? Hello? Van Horn? Oh, this is creepy. Oh, this is creepy as shit. Oh, hell no! Yo, y'all hear that? You can hear, like, footsteps and stuff. People moving. Oh. You saw that, right? Y'all saw that, right? I'm not crazy, right? Y'all saw that. Yo, they're around here, man. They have to be. Oh, shit. You saw man. Man, you saw that? Man, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, we're coming back on this one for sure. For sure. Oh man, it looks like we're in a prison now. Welcome to Chased by Darkness. And it looks like I'm actually going to be investigating some sort of a activity or poltergeist-like activity going on in this prison. So everyone left, I'm the only one here. And I guess let's see what lies beyond these doors, right? Oh, I don't like this at all. I mean, first of all, right, why would we be inside of a prison by ourselves? You are crazy if you think you would ever drag me in a situation like this. 
Oh man, this is the only time you will catch me behind bars. Boy. Okay, we can't go through. I don't even know what lies beyond, like, you know, these gates. For, I mean, from what I understand, there's a demon in here, right? There's a demon that has either sacrificed a bunch of people or people have sacrificed each other for this thing so i don't know man any demons in here what is this the bathroom orbs okay so we got a key we got a key to the bathroom got some ammo i mean but we don't really have any guns you know what i mean oh this is locked oh damn it I mean, first things first, right? Like, what would you guys do in a situation where, like, you're just in a prison by yourself? I, I, that, I'm telling you, it, it's white people shit. And I'm a white person. You would never catch me doing this. Never. I'm telling you. It's always like that white person, right? Yeah, let's go explore, man. There's no energy. Find a way to restore it. This dude scared the shit out of me, man. Well, like I was saying, I'm a white dude that does not participate in white-like activities. No, no, no. Oh, hell no. Because that's how you get yourself killed, you know what I mean? I have seen too many movies for me to know. And the fact that I'm by myself, it's like, who in their right mind? Man, what is this, like a basement? Where am I? This is so bad. There's a literal demon out here somewhere. And if this thing just pokes itself up out of nowhere, I'm gonna cry. This reminds me of Slender Man. This reminds me of like Witch Hunt. This reminds me of, oh, hell no. What? You want me to go down there, bro? Oh, God damn it. All right, let's see. Wait a minute, is this? Is there anything around here? Jesus, that's scary. Is this another staircase? Don't tell me, bro. Are you seeing, you want me to, oh my God god oh this is a this is like a cell block chamber dude what the hell yeah i mean so what am, what exactly am i looking for I, i'm 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 assuming i'm looking for power but in order for me to like go to like point a point b I need to kind of establish where that power block is and then from there just find keys and just take it from there, right? Yeah, this is where we all eat. What the hell is it? Ew, oh, this is blood. Nope. See, this is the part where I just leave. Yeah, this is the part where I just leave. What is this? This is the only odd door that doesn't seem to be, yeah, uh, all right, well... Dude, this, th th like, this whole place is covered in blood. Are you out of your mind? I would leave so quick. Uh, trust me, this, this ain't fruit punch. Nah, you're bugging. You're bugging out. You're bugging out if you think you're gonna hold me here. Let me see. Uh, can I access any door? Why would we even be down here? Like, this is crazy, man. Like, the f I mean... It, it doesn't it doesn't seem unusual to anyone that there's like a freaking overwhelming amount of blood on the freaking ground of this prison like what i gotta get the hell out of here man i got i mean this is the first time that i'm playing this game so it's like i really don't know what to do i don't know where to go i'm by myself you know like there's a demon out here hunting me or whatever the case may be so this thing could poke itself up out of nowhere Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, boys. It's time for us to get our asses out of here. Let me know in the comment section below, like, oh, Jesus, look at the size of this thing. First floor, second floor, third floor, I guess the office grounds floor, like, what the hell? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite kind of, like, paranormal movies are. You know what I mean? If it's the Paranormal Activity series, if it's the exorcist if it's the exorcist of emily rose if it's anything like that just let me know because i i don't know man like 
I'm getting serious paranormal vibes, but I, I just... Oh, God, everything's locked, bro. There's no key card. Let me in, let me in. I don't even know, like, what I'm dealing with. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to be dealing with. Like, you know, I, I really have to kind of look into, like, what this is because this, this is... I'm telling you, this is not my forte. Especially being out here by myself, like, you're crazy. Damn it. Oh, this is locked, too. Let me in. Let me in. I can't be doing this, man. I can't be doing this by myself. Like I said, from my basic understanding, I'm, I'm here by myself. I'm trying to... Okay. I'm trying to see what I got going on here. What is this? Do we have anything here? All right. What is this? Uh, well, I don't want to read that right now. Look, look at this dude's PC. He's, like, using, like, Windows 95. Like, what the hell is this? So, okay, so there has to be something here. Like, I know I'm not just here looking at notes and, like, a dusty-ass PC. Yeah, there's, there's, there has to be something here. Damn it. We got old-ass coffee. We got a printer. I don't... Oh, man. Okay, what is this? No, there's nothing here. What's even more is, like I said before, I'm just being here, you're in a prison by yourself. And there's this gigantic demonic entity that's chasing you like it's not i'm telling y'all right now it's not something that you want to put yourself in you know in a situation for like i don't care how much money you're gonna give me i know someone in the comment section is gonna be like yo man what if someone gave you a billion dollars first of all who would be dumb enough to give me or anybody a billion dollars to go into this prison by themselves to kind of cast out this demon like are you are you crazy but let me see if I can go back here. There has to be something here that I missed. I mean, obviously, this, this whole entire place is a lot bigger than what I imagined it would be like, but there has to be, like, an upstairs area. You feel me? But, like, there's no, there's no way for us to get up there. So I'm checking the doors. I'm checking to see, like, what, what's around the area, you know? Because there has to be something. There legitimately has to be something around the area. Unless, hold on. Unless. Yeah, I don't I don't see any openings around here. Alright, so let me see if I can get my ass out of here. Let me go back into that room real quick. Hold on. Before that, I just want to make sure that I search everything. Because I don't want to put myself in a situation where, like, something isn't, like, working in my favor, you know? Uh, do we have anything here? Oh, wait. What's this? Wait, what the hell's going on? Oh. What the hell is happening? Wait, what is that? Is that water? Wait, what is that? Is that water? What just happened? Oh, what the- Hold your breath. The hydraulic system has been damaged. Go up and find another switch. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ew, we're swimming in blood. Yo, we're literally swimming. Oh my god, we're swimming in blood. That's nasty. Hold on, am I on the third floor? I think I am. What in the hell? Okay, hold on. Wait a minute, guys. Yeah, this is this is the third floor. So this is okay, so is there okay what is this there has to be a clue here there has to all right we use that anyone in here all right we got dusty binders no guns like where are my guns we got handcuffs all right come on there has to be something oh another button okay Okay, not for nothing. Okay, that just scared the shit out of me. That just scared the shit out of me. I have chills going down my spine. What the... What the hell is that? Wait, hold on. Is that a ghost? What is that? Hold on. I, I know that's not the demon. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is that? Identify yourself. Oh my god. So that's what is that? Like a demon? Like what? No, it can't be. 
I'm reloading my guns. Nah, nah, nah. Back up, you. Yeet! Oh, crap. It didn't work. Okay. Find Barkan and Spiritual Bonfire and destroy the Soul Stones. Holy crap, yo. The, the way that thing just roared. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. I can't be playing this so late at night like that. I, I'm just gonna suffer a stroke. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for you guys. You're like, that's crazy. All right, well, I guess I have to go back into the pool of blood. I have to swim in this shit, bro. Is there anything else? Like, is there anything else that I can do? Like, there has to be something around here. Like, I refuse to believe that there's nothing around here. Like, that, 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 that's just weird. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's crazy. Damn it, do I have to go back and swim in that shit, man? Listen, all e all's well that ends well, I guess we'll be playing this, like, later on, towards the end of the year and etc., you know, going into 2023 and stuff, but, I mean, for this, it's like, oh, this sucks, like, my, uh, oh, I, I need to find, okay, hold on, I think I have an idea, I need to find the exit, so I need to swim up out of the, out of the, out of the top here and then go down, but this is kind of hard because it's like, what the hell, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, so I know I need to swim underneath. I know that for a fact, but I can't seem to hold my breath because my character's, like, dying. So let me just try this again. All right, come on. Let's see if we can find anything. We need to find that door. Where's the door? Oh, it's not here. What do you mean? Oh, God. Okay, so hold on. It's probably... I, I need to swim back up. Hold on. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die on me. Don't die on me, Captain. Did I just die? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? There's no way. Hold on. What the hell? Oh, wait. Was I meant to die? Where am I? I'm in a prison. Oh, I'm... What? None of this makes any sense. Wait, what's happening? Oh, what the hell is this? Dude, what the, What is this? Holy shit! Are you... Yo, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? Bruh! Bruh! Oh, nah, nah, nope, nope, not I, says the cat, holy shit. Alright, so check it out, before anyone starts asking what game this is because it looks very different, this is actually Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies, and this is Nightmare Mode, what the hell is happening right now? Okay, so I haven't played Nightmare Mode in a very long time. But this is not your standard Jesus Christ. This is not your standard zombies mode, and you'll see why. Holy gee, I don't, I don't even know what these things are, man. They're like experiments. See, there's a reason why this, this map right here, this mode, is listed as being one of the most difficult and, quite frankly, frightening maps that Call of Duty has ever seen be made by the fandom. This was made by fans, you know what I'm saying? Look at this place. All right, got myself a bowing knife. Like I said before, guys, there, there's a reason why this is called Nightmare, and you guys are going to see why. It's it's not your traditional, you know, Call of Duty zombies, and you guys know I love zombies, right? So I just had to show you guys this because this is so different, and, and you're going to see. I haven't really gotten far, and I doubt that we will get far in this, but we'll see. Now, I think I have to call the elevator. Oh, Jesus. That's terrifying. Okay, well, here they come. They are sprinting down from the from the ventilation and and to think that I'm by myself doing this, man. Like these modded maps are insanely good. I mean, right? Happy Halloween. These things remind me of those creatures from The Descent. If you guys have ever seen that movie, The Descent. Oh my God. I don't have any more Molotovs. I'm I'm cornered here. I don't I don't have a shotgun. Oh God. I don't have a shotgun, I don't have an assault rifle, I have nothing. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm gonna have to juke these guys, I'm gonna have to juke them, I'm gonna end up dying. I'm gonna end up dying, we have we have a little health meter at the bottom, if we get, oh my god, what's, let me, let me use nightmare mode, oh, we, we actually escaped, perfect. Can I pick this up? I can't even pick that up, dude. Okay, 
I'm gonna have to like figure something out because in order for us to progress, we're gonna have to turn off nightmare mode and grab this and run. All right, let's see how this, oh God, grab it. And now we're gonna run. Jesus, that scared the crap out of me, yeet. All right, now we wait. Oh God, where's the elevator? I really can't keep this up for long. I swear to God, I can't. Oh, here they come. Here they come. So as long as I can kind of like hold myself here, I think I should be all right. This this is not what I, I imagined this would be like, man. By the way, Halloween recommendation for a movie. Watch the movie The Descent. You guys are really going to like it. Part one specifically, not part two. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it here? Yes, it is. Oh, God. What the hell? What, wait, what, what's happening right now? Oh, my God. All right. Um, What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, there's a key card needed. Hold on. Hold on. I'll, I'm, I'm going to die. I'm gonna die. Okay, uh, three, two, four. Uh, okay. So I, I can't access anything. Ah, oh, damn it. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, there's only three of them. Only three of them left. Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. Yeet. Slice him. And then slice him. Okay. What in the hell is happening? I need to grab some ammo. I need to definitely grab some ammo. I think there's a. Let me see. Yeah, there's an ammo case here. I don't even, like, what are these things? They're like tentacles or whatever. Grab that Molotov. So from my understanding, right? Because I remember playing this a long time ago, but quite frankly, I don't think I've ever gotten this far, and that's really surprising to say. I don't know what to do, but, uh, let me see here. Actually, no, I think I did get, yeah, yeah. So I got, I got to this part, but I never was able to solve this little mystery here. Uh, oh, jeez. All right, I know that we're supposed to... Oh, my God, this is horrifying. I'm pretty sure they're going to be charging their way here. Okay, so I, I need to open this right here. Oh, my God! Focus, focus. All right, I'm setting that doorway on fire. I am not letting either... I, I, like, any of them get in. All right, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, God, what just happened? Hold on, hold on. Oh, I, I can't let them go in. What, what, what is this? Can I get a gun? Uh, yes. Nice. Finally, we have an assault rifle, which we desperately have needed since the beginning. Look at this place. It's like a research center in a way, but not really. It's like an abandoned research center. I don't even know, man. Let me just check this place out real quick. Let me tell you guys something, man. I mean, you guys can download this if you guys have Call of Duty Black Ops 3. On your PC, you can uh, you can easily just go to the workshop and download this. The map is called uh, Nightmare. It's free, and I mean that's pretty much it, right? Try your hand at this. All right, let me. Um, okay, yeah. C. Okay, so I, I need to follow. Hold on, I need to follow those letters. Oh crap! Any letters here? No, no letters. Oh, this isn't good. Hold on, let me let me just let me just stay right here. So. I mean, I, I guess I need to unlock that little thing on the locker. Thank God they're all burning, because I don't need any more trouble right now. Are we good? All right, let me just try this again. I kind of have an idea as to what I want to... Oh, Jesus Christ. As to what I want to do. But to be honest, I don't... I've, I haven't seen many people get far with this, you know? All right, there's, there's no letters here. Oh, man. There are no... I mean, listen, I, I think we're going to have to... Do I have to go on the other side? They're dropping down from the ceiling, dude. I'm going to die. I'm going to end up dying. They're smacking me with, like, force. Oh, my God. Hold the line. Hold the line. Don't let them Don't let them swarm in. Come on. Oh, there's more of them. There's more of them. All right. Headshot. Oh, there's more of them. Any more? There's one more. All right. Any more? Okay, there's one more. Oh, God. All right anymore all right that should be it so yeah the letters aren't really here so i'm gonna have to pretty much i think jump on the other side let me let me see so i i know that the first one is c okay uh i'm gonna have to go here uh b okay c b jesus they're dropping down from the ceiling c b d okay c b d c b d remember c b d okay oh man Oh, I gotta get the hell out of here. I have to get the hell out of here. 
the fact that like they drop down the way they do i'm gonna have to hold it up in here come on hold it up hold up hold up hold up all right good take him down take him down take him down come oh it's lagging what the hell's happening what is happening hold on i'm gonna have yeah i'm gonna have to dip i have to dip i can't stay here let me see if this works i'm gonna try to like reverse the letters if that doesn't work so let me go to c b where's b b and then d if i can okay never mind i was gonna say if i have to switch it around i'll put like c d b or d b c right let's get the hell out of here so now we're supposed to go to the subground floor okay so let's go on ahead and use our little card here to go downstairs see i i really do implore you guys to like download some of the uh the workshop modded maps for games like this because you're gonna come across like some really really dope stuff and the way we're going down right now i don't know i'm a little nervous this it, this, this is hard this is like really really hard like some of y'all don't even know you're not gonna get past this like on your first few tries you're just not oh what the hell was that what the hell is this the reception area okay old school reception area what's going on what the hell is it what the hell is that what the hell was that oh oh this is the reception area ill rats are you serious wow that a lot has changed See, I, I don't know what all this black gooky stuff is. Oh, I, I remember him. That dude was from transit. All right, anything down here? What am I supposed to? There are bodies down here, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Back up, back up. All of you back up. Damn, there, there were multiple of them. How are they down there? Any more? I hear them. What the hell? Oh, oh, my God. You know what these things remind me of? If you guys have ever played Doom before, that that's what these things remind me of, like, like those demons from Doom. So, does this have to do with power? I have no idea. And the fight goes on. I can't even access anything. I mean, grabbing a Molotov just in case. So, do we go here? No. Okay, so do we go over here? Yes. Okay. All right. What's the... Uh, oh, is that a child, bro? No. Oh man, it's locked for a reason. Don't, don't, don't. I don't, I don't want to. Ew, look at all those rats. All right, boys. Unauthorized access in West offices. Wait, what do you mean unauthorized access? Oh shit. Oh nah, what the hell? I gotta get the hell out of here. Wait a minute, they, they locked me in. Why would they lock me in? Oh shit. Oh, nah, I, I gotta get the hell out of here. I gotta get the hell out of here, dude. This is gonna be a one and done for me. Yeah, it's, it, I'm dead. I'm dead. Wow, what in the hell? What in the hell? What was this? Oh, nah, this is different. This hits different, man.